And uh, thanks for coming. I know you guys are usually used to Sundays. Yeah, so. sorry. I was sick, nothing bad. Everybody's like, are you okay, Jasmine? I'm like, no, I was just like throwing up sick. It wasn't anything dangerous, <laughs> thank goodness. All right, so today uh, the we have the uh, for raffle <laughs> that you guys are all in, we have the print of the week. And the print of the week is, it says oh. Sonera in the thing, but that's a lie. That's a lie. The print of the week you is... You probably need to fix that, Brandon, Storm but Chaser. it's Storm Chaser. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if I can... There we go. I don't know how to fix that. I thought we had fixed that. Um, this is why we, we do this, is so we can learn. Yeah, that's why we do things, is so we can learn. <laughs> so it is actually Storm Chaser. Yes, a mermaid. Is there a way so to that will edit be a print that at this and point? I'll sign it for you. Whoever yeah. wins it will sign it and we'll mail it to you. And she's actually from 11 years ago. I didn't know she was from that long ago. But I always think of her as a more recent painting. I don't think so. Well, hopefully everybody else has been well. I'm trying to think. We haven't really, I haven't done much but like lie in bed since last time I saw you guys. So this is a painting that I was working on last Wednesday. Yeah, the little dots are gone. This is the hyacinth blue painting, and we'll she okay. is destined for my show at the Corey Halford Gallery. 16 by 20 painting, okay. and we got the camera flipped around. <laughs> yeah, it's, it is in the right, or, it's um, right. it's oriented okay. right. So it's showing the right thing because before last week I, apparently the camera was flipped so it looked like I was doing it all left-handed but I wasn't not that time so yes in um the second prize of the week is the same prize that we were going to have last Sunday <laughs> which would have been the pin of the month then it was it's butterflies but and bugs again changed yeah um but Jasmine hey uh, uh show them the prize and then if you'd show them uh, a preview of, of this month's pin Oh, yeah, so after September that. pin. Yeah, I, I will. I haven't showed um, that to anybody yet, so you guys will be the first ones to see it, I think. But that, here's, well, this is the one that you've seen, but um, this was our August pin of the month, but now it's not August. Sorry, I know it gets dark when I show the pins up by this camera. It gets all dark and emo. I, yeah, well, look at the painting. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I think that works. I don't know, it's still tiny. Yeah, Okay. So she's Butterfly and Bones. We do have print, uh, pins of her up at strangeling.com. And she is, was last month's August's Patreon pin. So you August Patreon people already have her. But you can still win one and win extra one to trade or do whatever you like with her. Um, I wanted to show off. This is the pin design. We, I don't have the physical pin yet um, that's finished, but almost finished. But here is, she is a variant of my... Um, Milagros Corazon painting I did for a Dia de Muertos series and she's the pastel version so instead of being like the really bright colors you usually see in the painting or the usual red, blue, gold, etc. I did kind of pastel versions of it to do a variant on her and she turned out super cute. Uh, people are loving it, Jasmine. Yeah, um, Melody gonna, says I love the August gonna pin. It's going to be a good one. The but, August pin was really cute. Too. Yes. It's actually both of them are yes, two of my favorite ones I've done so far. Glenda says hey you're back. Welcome back. Yay. Thank you. Linda. We are. This is our second more recent broadcast. Yeah, we had a hiatus of a few months, and now we're back, and we'll be back again on Sunday. Yes. And then probably next week is when, since we're on a little bit of a delay, um, is when I will will be starting the paint cam that you can just watch me paint silently <laughs> throughout the day if you like. It doesn't have all the chat and prizes, but you can just look at what I'm painting. Yeah, and um, that for... will be for Patreon members only, though. Yes, for the third. In a final giveaway, we have the amazing, funky, wacky prize wheel. And I'll, oh, I'll yeah. The for those of the, he, who weren't here last time, I'll go ahead and spin it. And this okay. isn't a prize that anyone's going to win. No. But I'll, I'll spin it now, and it we'll just be. take a look I at mean, it. It's random. But, yeah. It has a neat clicking sound. I like to pretend I know what distance to stare into, like I'm on a weather channel or something. <laughs> what did and they I'll see what pops up. This will be on a delay for myself. Okay. You want a portrait pin set three. So in theory, if that were um, so whoever, whoever won the last giveaway, the they would have won a portrait pin set three. Completely nice. random. Um, I put, I've put i uh, put some pretty cool prizes on there. Yeah, so, and that is for only followers here at, tw at Twitch, but that correct. is free. If you haven't clicked it, just click by my name. It has a little follow purple heart thingy, and that means that you can enter the raffles. <laughs> no whammy, someone said. Oh, yeah. Oh man, I, 
What was pressure that horrible luck. show? Pressure what was luck. That called? Pressure luck. Yes, and I only watched it when I was, I think I was ill at home. I can't even. I don't think I've ever watched days. it for more than like two seconds, and it was always people saying the stupidest stuff. It I is, apologize if anybody likes. Well, I don't actually. Never I. <laughs> pressure luck is funny to watch in uh, oh. retro, because. Uh, yeah, it might be funny the, now to watch. The people, it. you know, <laughs> '80s hair. It's awesome. Oh. That's reason enough to watch something. <laughs> what are you planning to do with September and October since Casey Renfest is canceled? P.S. We'll miss you. I don't know. Um, I'll probably just be painting. I can't go anywhere, really. Um, uh, there's a chance I might get to go to California for Disney. That would probably be the next thing. I just, I don't know if you saw Maddie, but um, they're having me, they're having, sending more stuff for me to sign since Wonder Grand California is reopening, I think, this week or just reopened. So, uh, is it? Yeah, Regina. Uh, they emailed me. Oh, okay. Just right. They wanted to make sure I was at this house and not the other. All right. House, so. I'm just gonna yeah. see if Moobot's being responsive. Moobot oh. doesn't control things like it used to, oh. but it's it has good little messages in there. So let me see if Moobot is working. So um. Yep, it is. That, it, or either that, or possibly maybe they might have me do something at the co-op here at Disney Springs in Florida. But yeah, I mean, I can't go do the Ren Fair when it's not open. <laughs> I can't go do Dragon Con when it's not happening. I can't, can't really do anything until stuff reopens again. But at least we have this, right? But we have this, so that's we cool. We have this, and we I, have our I website. I painting anyways. I've got so many paintings going on. So, the Jasmine, um, ridiculous. Yeah. since uh, Brandon and I kind of looked at some of your frequently asked questions, yeah. uh, we decided to make a, a new little animation for the the broadcast. Oh, okay. And uh, that's... Uh, uh, paint? Yes, golden. Uh, what? I'll I'll just ask you, Jasmine. What paints do you use? I, I golden fluid acrylic paints. So then I'll if someone asks they, that, they I, we can just mention it, this. and then I we can hit this button. I'm probably looking at. <laughs> and then boom. Cool. They should give me money. Yes, those are golden fluid acrylics. Give them enough money. And Jasmine thinks they're the best. They're my favorite. A lot of people don't. For like acrylics, them, right? They're uh, they're acrylics, liquid acrylics, with water. So now you know, we just need to figure out green tea on it, but it's, <laughs> it's actually paint. We should create one for uh, for like uh, your favorite painting, but oh, that changes. That so you kind of have to let me know, and I have to. It's something people ask me a lot. To set up seventy of them and just try to figure out which one Jasmine likes that uh, day. I could just help and hit you that. Out. We'll make oh, 70. Does that sound good? Brandon says no. No, you don't no. want to make 70. Computer says first. no. It's Brandon. Computer says no. Yeah. Uh, AS Art says, I love golden fluids. They're good. Hey, that, that I like that one. So I usually handle the audio ends of it, and Brandon does the, he does the little Photoshop-y stuff that I, I hate. <laughs> I don't that mind. you hate doing. No, yeah. I don't mind messing with mics and, yeah. and video cameras and stuff, but I don't like uh, I don't like uh, adding animation of things. Oh yeah, not really. I mean, I like I like what they do. Like we have the little sunshine, yeah. a thing. I like to. They're funny little things. Oh, I speak, I'm saying. Speaking of kitties, I wanted to show off that painting that I wanted to show off earlier. Not my painting, but it's a painting of Gamera. Do I have that over here, baby? Uh, uh. Oh, yes, uh, it, it. I put it there for you. Oh, and that's a present from Jackie. If she, oh. I don't know if Jackie's watching. Jackie, I don't know if you're watching, but I wanted to thank you oh. on camera. Also, let me put a link in there. She got some a, a, an artist to paint a beautiful portrait of Gamera. This is like a little original painting, and she sent it to me, and I just thought that's the sweetest thing. And Matt has the artist name. I'm. Not sure if they are a boy or a girl, but their name is Jell Elena, J-E-L-E-N-A. Yeah. And Matt has their website if you'd like to check out their work. It looks like they do a lot of really cool paintings. And a magnificent one of Gamera. I don't think they do prints of this one. <laughs> and it's cute because it has her little um, collar on it, like a little gold actual... She has like one of those home return things on her collar. Just she ran away. Wouldn't that be awful? Too? And I'm going to put uh, Jelena's, uh, her um, website in the room oh, so oh. everyone can enjoy. Gotcha. Yeah. Put that in her back pocket. Okay. Paper all over the place. Makes it a little better. 
So the painting that Jasmine's working on today is, at, uh, for those of you who are watching last time, um, you'll know it's uh, Hyacinth Blue. Yeah. I almost wanted to call it Blue Hyacinth. Blue Hyacinth. Uh, yeah, Hyacinth Blue is a color, though. So I, I like to name things after colors. Sometimes. Gotcha. You know how I am. Zoom in. So those are our, uh, we went over prizes, and um, I wish we could talk about events coming up, but there's, there <laughs> as no you said, there's really up. not a whole lot. Well, I mean, I've got events coming up, but they're not for a while. <laughs> like, this painting is for my solo show coming up in Los Angeles, and that's not until next year or sometime, so... I, it's currently, I think they, they've changed the date on it a couple times, so I, I want to make sure when it's going to be for sure. But Right, we have to make sure that... That I can even travel. Yeah, and, all that. You know, any of that. Because we that. have paintings there. I've got some paintings that are like half finished and frames that are in England and all sorts of crazy stuff. And I haven't been able to go to my other houses, my other studios, so it's I, I don't know how to do it. I believe we'll this painting has not been sold, but I do have a... Yeah, they, they are I do have a web, or do you have it? You have website. that email, have, yeah, yes. it, has, it will be available. Um, they'll send out a preview to collectors, like you guys, basically, ahead of time, and you ask them so you guys can if you're get interested the before, if you're interested in the originals, uh, before they go the, open uh, to the public, so. I'm popping the, her email in there yeah, right email. Now. Is it Sherry they want you to email? Yeah, at the gallery? I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, Sherry at the Corey Halford Gallery. And we're thinking about, Still I think price-wise, you're thinking about 6400 for this one? Um, what is, it's a 16 by 20. 16 by I think, 20. I think usually those are like 6,000 to 6,800, 6,200, something like that. 6,000 something usually. And we will have um, canvas prints, like the Masterpiece canvas prints that are the big full-sized ones that I hand embellish. And those will be available after the show, so sometime next year. But you can reserve them now if you email us. It's okay. Was that here? Yeah, Br Brandon was stretching. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thought somebody was knocking on the door. No, it's yeah. That 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 wall is actually uh, got weird metal. It's got metal in it or something. Yeah. It is. It's sur it's surrounding a a little half like, bath there. Punch a hole in Not it's even a half bath, a quarter bath. It does echo. Yeah. Probably. So it's really when you if you try to put a nail on that thing, it just goes boom, boom, boom. All right, and again, the print of the week is currently Storm Chaser. Yeah. Storm Chaser, and she's a she is a really really popular piece. I um. She is. Of course, that should be a cute little statue. She's one that I based off of a figure study. That turned out really lovely. Yeah, she would be a good statue. Mm -hmm. So she is a mermaid. Jasmine paints lots of mermaids. I do paint lots of mermaids. So. Uh, I think that in the end, you've probably painted more fairies just from the sheer amount of faces of fairy that yeah, you've painted. Yeah, a lot of the faces of fairy aren't necessarily fairies, though. <laughs> some of them are mermaids, and some of them are vampires and stuff, too. I don't know. There's a lot of faces. That's what I do. So that Nintendo guy's referencing a Men at Work song. Who can it be knocking at my door? Ah. Hey, Karen. Hey, Katie. What's hey. up? Out of curiosity, the first run fest you decided to have a store where you were nervous on how... Out of curiosity, the first uh, run fest you decided to have a store, uh, were you nervous on how it was all going to work out? It was, um, because it, a lot of all run fests work differently. With um, the, the Kansas City Run Festival, which is where I have a permanent building out, it's... Um, it, it works like buying a house. You have to wait till somebody's selling a house. You buy it, you get a deed, you pay taxes, you pay for electricity and you know, all that stuff, just like a house. So it is kind of nervous because it's like buying a house and hoping that people come and yeah, I just paid out of pocket so it didn't have a mortgage or anything. And so it's a lot of, it's a big investment. And then you're like, oh, well, I need people to work at the shop for two months out of each year. So I was lucky that I had family living there that were working for me and that worked out really nicely, but um, that's that's why some of the larger shows are kind of nervous making. I, it would, I couldn't, for example, just say, oh, I want to do a rent fair in um, California, because it'd be like, oh, is anybody going to sell their house? Sometimes there's like 20-year waiting list to buy a house and crazy stuff like that. Yeah, we got, um, we got lucky. We got very lucky. Yeah, we bought the house from uh, Nene Thomas. Some of you probably know her artwork. She We heard through the grapevine that 
she was going to sell her house. I was like, oh, I'm, I know where that house. I've been going to that house for since I was in min- middle school. Yeah, I was a I, kid, and I'd go to the Renaissance Festival, and I knew the house, and I was like, that would be a great one to have. And so we just snatched it up. We bought it from her, and at the time, it was later in the season, we didn't have time to prep it, like put on those cool slat walls. Oh, yeah, we had to so, do a lot of work. So we rented it out instead. Yeah, we rented it out to, I think, some place that was selling mandolins or something, and then the following year, I actually moved into it. Right, st- mu- mu- magical strings? I forget what they're... <laughs> They're called the unicorn strings. Unicorn strings, something like I that. I might be confusing that with another place though, because I know like five places that sell mandolins for some reason. I don't, really, I don't know. I'm nervous, so nervous in the tune of Thirty by Bad Flower. I don't. I, I don't know. know that. You know that song, Brandon? I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry, Glenda. I don't know that song. Is it a good song? I don't Whenever know. Whenever people tell me, they're like, hey, you don't know that song? I'm like, well, was it a good song? And if it wasn't, Bad Flower I... is is a more pleasant name than Bad Finger, though. Bad Finger's probably a better band. I No, no idea. It wasn't called Cat Gut Strings. Okay. Blob. Like you were even there. <laughs> so you're a, you're a California uh, person, right, Blob? A Californian. That's that's why the movies. Oh, that's Jasmine and I watched an interesting film recently about uh, child actors. Oh yeah, Alex Winters made it. The guy from yeah, um, Alex Winter from he, um, Bill and Ted. Yeah, the, the AKA non, Bill, the non Keanu Reeves one. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that was that plays was a, also good. plays a vampire in Lost Boys. Ah uh, yeah, the film that everybody goes back to. They do. People talk about that movie a lot, don't they now? Yeah, I have one Facebook friend. Uh, someone said also on the Lost Boys. I've got more. Uh, I have than you, man. one Facebook friend that's really, really into them. They're in specifically into the actor, the vampire um, that is not Kiefer Sutherland, not Alex Winter. He's the he's the vampire that has Where long black there? hair and is a very uh, handsome uh, guy. But she's really into him, and she's oh. met him at cons and whatnot. Oh. So I was like, man, you, you really like that dude. He's the one who says, you miss sucker. Mm. The worst line in the film. Yeah, you say that Billy Worth, someone says. Well, what? Glenda knows What's it. What's his name? Billy Worth? Billy Worth? I don't know. There's, a, there's Alex Winter, a blonde guy, <laughs> the guy I just mentioned, and Kiefer Sutherland, a star and the little boy. I can't remember what the little boy's name. Well, Kiefer Sutherland was a child actor, wasn't he? Uh, I don't know what acting? I'm sure. Uh, I don't know what the first thing Kiefer Sutherland starred in was. The first thing I saw him in. The first thing I think maybe Stand by Me. Maybe that's what I saw him in first. He's of course, Do- he's Donald Kate. Sutherland's son. No, he's not in the um, so he he knows Hollywood. Yeah, I, that's, I'm not surprised he's an actor. The blonde vamp died a few years ago. That's sad. Uh-huh. Okay, got to shut the stream down. That's just too sad. Oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I guess he's undead, though, so I mean... No. Jasmine, he was acting. Oh, he was, act- he was just acting! acting. Oh. Let's see. I yeah, that, that's, that's a good flick. Um, good vampire flick. Yeah. I like that. I like Fright... There are Fright- a lot of bad vampire Fright Night as well. Fright I'm trying to think of any other 80s vampire films that I can think of. Fright Night, Lost Boys... Like, Interview with the Vampire came out in what like, 92, vamp- I think? Oh, the, 93? Um, no, the so, Interview with the Vampire was 93, I think. Oh, uh-huh. Cry Little Sister. That's a good song. That is a good song. The Blonde Vamp was Alex Winter. Well, he's yes, not but dead. I think there are two <laughs> blonde vampires, though. Okay, there can be more than one blonde vampire, surely. I don't know. I've seen Twilight. Brooke McCarter died. I, was, okay. This is, our, this is a new Chance forum Michael where Corbett we is talk about boy's celebrities not being Chance dead. Michael Corbett is the little boy's name in the movie. It was Laddie. Yeah, Laddie. And Michael Corbett is the actor? Uh, Chance Michael Corbett. Chance Michael Corbett, okay. They give him three names to make him sound important. Like a serial killer. No. Not so much a serial killer, but more so like an, a, a presidential sag- assassin. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna say it's so when you get if he wants to get a SAG license or his um, 
membership, you can't have a name that's already in there. Right, right. So in the- <laughs> there is and Don't Call Me Shirley. <laughs> Surely you can't be serious. Yeah, there was, I saw a meme that was hilarious the other day. It said, Siri keeps calling me Shirley, and it's upsetting me. And then I realized it was in airplane mode. <laughs> That's bad. Have you seen Airplane, Brandon? I have. A comedy, long time ago. old comedy. Oh, God, I haven't seen that. Leslie since Nelson. I was a child. You haven't seen that? It's it's actually pretty funny. Have you seen The Naked Gun? I don't I don't really have any comedies on the list, do I? No. Hmm. He wants you to be somber, yeah, I don't. Brandon. That's no. I just I don't know. Comedies are comedies are very subjective because I can. I can like the same action movie as someone, but I might like different comedies than they do. That's very true. Yeah. I think you and some I like the same don't cartoons have a generally. Humor about some stuff too. I think action is different because action is more universal. Yeah. Yeah. Action too, but like comedy is so everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy is very cultural. Right, and yeah. sometimes it's generational too. Yeah. 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 There is a raffle. What did I miss? You didn't miss anything. Type in exclamation raffle. Exclamation point and raffle. Jasmine, could you show? Uh, I'll show, show what the, the first raffle is for. Right um, the first one. A signed print storm chaser. Oh, there it is. I haven't signed it yet, but I will. In Woo-hoo. fact, if if she gets that one all sloppy, right. I'll just print out another one and she'll. Sign yeah. It. <laughs> the other one got messy. Glenda just watched one. Naked Gun two weeks ago. The first one. I. <laughs> Naked Gun two. Oh. Airplane two one. is good too. This yeah, I like airplane prize, two. Second prize, butterflies and bones, and third prize is the spinning wheel, which can be anything from books to original paintings. And that will be the surprise one. I think that's always fun to do that one last because it could be something crazy. Yes. But anyway, this uh, this documentary we watched, uh, really, I mean, I've seen a few documentaries. Uh, Todd Bridges is often a part of it. Yeah. Um, if you don't know, he was played Willis in 80s sitcom Different Strokes. I've never seen this, by the way. Matt is the one who knows the um, TV shows from back then. Yeah, I'm... I, I unfortunately know all of them. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sad. So. Oh, Karen's, uh, if you want to, Karen's asking questions in the room. What's up, babe? Oh, yeah. If anybody has questions, go ahead. Look. I'm not going to fill the questions for Brandon out loud too oh, much. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I'll, I'll do that when I, when I start helping Brandon out with his Twitch, I guess. Oh, I don't know. There you go. They can just hire me out, Jasmine. Sure. It's like, hey, do you want Matt to MC your, your Twitch? Yeah. Hey, you could probably family ties with it. Michael J. Fox. Uh, none of the Never family ties people were on there. Um, Will Wheaton was a big part of Will the. Will Wheaton was on it a lot. Yeah, he well, was I, on it well, a lot. Well, that's actually I saw him a lot as a kid because he was in Star Trek and then or Next Generation rather, and then he was in. Yeah, Stand and, by and me, Henry, what's his name? Is uh, Matt is freelance? Yep. But not free, but but Lance, more Lance than free. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Will Wheaton. Um, Henry, um, I can't even remember. Thomas? The, was it Henry Thomas? Yeah, the E.T. kid. I think his name's And Henry he went, uh, of course, uh, he, after E.T., most of you probably have seen the really, really cool uh, film Cloak and Dagger. Loved it. Keith Coogan. Keith Coogan. Don't know. Should I know Keith Coogan? I know Steve Coogan. <laughs> Steve Coogan, a uh, um, British comedian, but not Keith Coogan. Keith Coogan. That name is familiar. Why do I know that? Is that a... Uh, He's not the is E.T. Is, we this know, isn't the E.T. Is kid I'm it? talking about. Who is it? I don't know who Keith... I, okay. I mean, well, I could go over to IMDb, but I'm not gonna. Okay. <laughs> he played Kenny in Don't Tell Mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did, um, is he in a child... Star? Yeah, so he was uh, the guy Keith Coogan on um, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead is a film that you probably haven't seen. No. Uh, stars Christina Applegate, and uh, she's pretty much the the star in it. Mm-hmm. And it's a late 80s, maybe early 90s sitcom. Oh, a, si- and a sitcom like a TV show? Not sitcom, I oh. apologize. A movie. Oh, okay. It's a, a film. And uh, Keith Coogan was the older the older brother in the family, but younger than Christina Applegate. And he um, he's a lost soul and decides he wants to be a, a chef in the end. Oh, so he that's his arc. Okay, is it a <laughs> is it a good movie? Uh, I, you know, no. my, my uh, mom and I, I like it. my mom and I, I like enjoy. I'd watch it with my mom. My mom liked it. 
So okay. there's sometimes there's films that you enjoy watching Hi, with Kathy, certain Kathy. people, but I don't think that you, I don't think you, I don't know if you'd like it, Jasmine. I'm mm-hmm. not sure. It's of its time. Oh, probably wouldn't. I, I won't have the dishes are done, them. dude. That is a reference to, uh, base, you know what skeet shooting is, Jasmine? Where you yeah, throw, I know what so skeet shooting is. His, uh, Christina Applegate tells Kenny he needs to do the dishes. Mm-hmm. So apparently Kenny has a shotgun and a roof. And his friend throws the dishes in the air as Kenny shoots them. And then uh-huh. he says, dishes are done, man. Ah. Or I thought it was man. Done, dude? I think it's done, man. Well, here I don't man. know. <laughs> it's a story about growing up. Yeah, uh, particularly Christina Applegate. Okay, you know the... Uh, we were watching a Cleveland show. Mm-hmm. Where Cleveland Jr. has a little desk and he becomes like, a, he just wants to play office, but he actually becomes an employee. Yeah. Uh-huh. Christina Applegate kind of does the thing. She lies her way in to a job. Oh. And is says she went to a, like, what? What is, is the it like being there? Yeah, a little or bit. Dave. Or a little. Like a or? little bit. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's Cr- Christina Applegate, uh, post but... married with children, and she's cool. She's way smarter than the sitcom Married with Children oh. um, had us believe. Oh, I'm sure she was tight. Cash shoes were pretty. Adventures in Babysitting as a Cult Classic. I like that better. Oh. Hi, Lady Cat. Lady Cat says, Hi, Matt and Jasmine. Hi. Hi, Lady Cat. And Crystal says, She hopes you're doing well. Oh, I'm doing very well. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Oh, she asked, and, and me too. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, you have to you, you have to be smart to play that dumb. That's says a, yeah, kind of. Because you yeah. know, Mary, you at least know no. Married with Children a little bit, right? Yeah, my dad yeah. used to watch that. Or my yeah. mom would. Somebody did. Somebody did. I'm right on top of that, Rose. Yep, exactly, mm-hmm. Wired. That's a line that uh, that Christina Applegate's boss taught her to say when Christine, Christina Applegate's boss was in a meeting with someone. Mm-hmm. It was like, hey, did we get the su- such and such from accounting done? Uh-huh. And then she'd look at Christina Applegate and she goes, I'm right on top of that, Rose. Oh, and that okay. was a way to uh, satiate Make the, it seal, yeah. the, uh, the investor or whatever. Um, I think it was like a, a, like a firm that sold makeup or something. Mm. I can't remember. And you know, David Duchovny was in that. Now I think back to it. That was, it was yeah. David Duchovny was in that guy's uh, fashion design company, and then she became a designer, and he's a bad guy in it. Oh, really? He's yeah. not often a bad guy. Uh, yeah. Well, he's I kind of he's kind of a he's kind of a, a, a skeezy uh, ladder climber. Oh, uh, okay. So climbing. Yeah, and within the they sold hideous school uniforms. Oh, yeah, that's right. And she makes her friends, her friends model them at the end because all of Christina Applegate's friends are like really super attractive model types mm. for some reason. So there you go. I found a great mug on Etsy that says, I'm right on top of that, Rose. Ah. Yep, Mulder guy. Love X-Files. Ooh, it's a QED report. Yep. They had to get the QED report ready. So basically, it's a, one of those nervous films where you, you're constantly afraid that she's going to get caught. They're going to find out she's just oh, a kid. Gotcha. And she didn't go to... Didn't go to school. What's or the anything? school? What's a fancy school for design? Uh, SCAD? Val something? No, no. Cal, uh, Cal, um, I'm, Cal Arts? No, um, it's got a fun, it starts with a V. What movie was this again? Um, no. Uh, Bianca's asking, oh. um, Vassar, that's what it was. Really? Oh, yeah, Vassar. Right. She, she lied and said she went to Vassar. Oh. Uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead, Bianca. Well, I don't, I don't know how he got on top. Oh, uh, wait. Somebody mentioned Keith Coogan. And then they mentioned Kenny, and then this it turned into this conversation. This is how this is the nature of things. It is. Yeah, thank you, Angela and OG Wild, uh, for saying Vassar. Uh, fashion design is something I don't know a lot about. Vassar obviously. is a very famous college, other than anything having to do with fashion. Design. I didn't know that. I it's apologize. It's like if you were a girl, you might go to Vassar instead of Harvard or something. I have one semester okay. at Community College, Jasmine. I know. You're always bragging on it. Yes. I'm always bragging on that. <laughs> hey, I can at least on an application, I can write some college. Some college, yeah. yeah. You're a Vassar gal. Um, Bianca, you're okay. Uh, you can miss that movie and be just fine. I, I've never seen it. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Yeah, but uh, they went into uh, other things about child actors. Uh, River Phoenix. A lot of 
uh, kids getting ripped off by their parents. Yeah, yeah it's strange. Yeah. I guess when R- River Phoenix had collapsed in front of that uh, the Viper nightclub, room. the yeah. Viper Room, yeah. uh, Johnny Depp was there. Well, he owned the Viper Room. I back then. Yeah, he he used to play there. Johnny Depp had a play. band. He would play there, uh, and River Phoenix wanted to actually get up on stage and play with him that night. Johnny Depp doesn't even and have to play the musical instruments. He just lets his good looks like work the crowd, and they think they heard something. He's a decent musician. He's a good musician. I, I, I think if he only did that, he might have been good. The, I, don't I don't even remember what the documentary was called, but it was by um, from Alex Winter, 2020. And it's one of those rabbit holes that you fall down. It's like when you're in, looking around in uh, Prime, Amazon Prime, and you're, you say, you might also like... Blah blah blah. Yeah. You may also like so I don't know. We were probably about That'd seventeen awesome. folders down. Yeah. And that and then I said, Hey Jasmine, do you feel like watching this thing about child actors? Sure. <laughs> Depp owns the Viper Room now. I'm pretty Did sure he, he then? owned it then and I know he still owns it. He owned it then and um he was he would play he would use it he had a very small stage there and he would use that kind of a platform for him and his band to play and he had other friends who were also actors and they would play there too and he was kind of friends with River Phoenix but he kind of brushed him off when he wanted to get up and because you know River Phoenix loved playing music he did concerts and stuff I mean he well, I remember he, that vaguely. he liked that more than acting actually but but Johnny Depp kind of brushed him off that most night, of my ex- he says he feels bad. Most of my experience with River Phoenix was seeing him on the cover of Teen Beat or whatever, and then um, besides that, uh, uh, Stand By Me. I've read a couple autobiographers about him. I'll or check it out. I read choreo- not autobiographies. Jasmine, didn't you do? Yeah. Didn't you read choreography? Uh, Corey Feldman's oh, yeah, bi- yeah. biography. Yeah. I did. That was that was good. I, anytime there's a biography of anybody, I've probably Alex read Winter it. <laughs> documents about the dark web. I don't know that one. I haven't seen that. Hmm. So, it was the real life Smash Club from Full House. Another I don't know that. I didn't uh, Full House is was not a that? not a show, not a sitcom. I enjoyed it. it like I was around many little. Um, I was like, okay, so. My sister, that's older than me, had children pretty young, so I was like a, this very young uncle, and my little sister, who's like five years young or ten years younger than me, and my two nieces would watch Full House incessantly. Ah. So it was kind of always on, but I didn't like it. Mm, okay. So I wasn't really into it. Yeah. But it's kind of one of those things you watch. I mean, I. I've seen The Little Mermaid 1,800 times just because I was around little girls when I've I was young. a lot of times, but I think Little Mermaid's a great, a great movie. So oh, Crazy cool. Writer. Hey, how's it going? Or Crazy Writer. I always oh, say crazy. I crazy. used to say crazy. <laughs> oh, TGIF. Crazy. Yeah, and Urkel and all that. Neil Patrick Harris biography oh. is a choose your own adventure format. Yes, it is. I started watching the HBO documentary series The Vow. About oh, the Nexium. Yes, we, I started um, watching that too about Nexium. Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, yeah, Keith Raniere is Keith Raniere. was oh. now. I oh. um, unfortunately, oh, I, I know. I mean, there, it's Somebody it's not like it's. Tests work. Yeah, I don't want to give away spoilers, even no, though it's either, a real life event that happened. I story, and I don't want to. Um, I know it's there's a. TV you heard show anything about, about Nexium? Nexium? Yeah. <laughs> Nexium. Okay, so imagine a um. I don't want to He's call too it. Too young I, to have been in the target yeah, I don't. I mean, it's. Uh, I would say it's self help gone to an extreme. Self help that's turned into like a weird sex cult thing. Yeah, something like that. So slash pyramid um, scheme. Oh, so uh, Glenda's love in the eyes. Oh, thank you. I'm digging them too. Smoky eyes. Yeah. I'm just. I'm going through and kind of going over my original sketch and going in and really laying out what areas I want to be super dark and what areas I want to be super light. So I can then start working on uh, Jasmine, the shapes a bit more. Yeah. Got to cut in. Um, can you give a shout out to Tainted Eagle? Uh, Tainted they're rating Eagle? with a party of 19 people. So thank you so oh much. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Um, if you don't know me, I'm Jasmine, and I paint in acrylic paints. Yeah, nice to see you. We're usually nice not on Wednesdays. You. We're not usually on Wednesdays, but we're usually Sundays. Yeah, but uh, lovely to see everyone. Very much to see.
happy to see you. Yeah, feel free to follow. Um, and we do have a raffle. If, yes, if we give out anyone's... raffles every hour on this yeah. channel. <laughs> so, and we ship anywhere in the world. It's completely yeah. free. So it uh, says uh, the print of the week, and yeah. it is uh, print of the week. Storm yes. Chaser. And I will autograph it and send it out. And it's Storm Chaser, my mermaid. And how close are we to the on the hour, baby? We're about thirty. We're about twenty-five minutes out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot to set my little fancy timer. Oh, Brandon. Okay. Well, there's three grown-ups here, and Brandon set I don't up have a, a clock anywhere I can see in my room. But Brandon set up this cool little. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What? what are you Oh, uh, oh, Brandon set up this cool little timer uh -huh. for me that's hourly. Like, oh, uh, really? Yeah, but I forgot to press it. Oh. So Did I just have to get used to this. Like on the computer. It's on this. It's actually on my little stream deck. Oh, oh, cool. That stream deck is awesome. Yeah, Sometime I like I might, might take some photos of some of the behind the scenes stuff that you have going on now because I think it looks really cool. Draw on lots of eyelashes. I'm just checking with something with Brandon. Oh sure, that's fine. Let's see. Um, I've kind of put a little bit of flesh tones on her, not a lot. I know the screen was looking kind of dark. But... Let's see. No. Uh, better from different angles, but I've started to put some very thin layers of mm -hmm. magenta. Um, what else I do? That orange, you... quinacridone, gotcha. nickel, azel gold, and okay. a bit of titanium right. buff. And I've just kind of smearing on there with my fingers. So I, my fingers are hmm. always like super messy when I paint. And what what sort of paints do you use, Jasmine? I use golden fluid acrylics. <laughs> If anybody works for them, tell them I talk about them all the time and they need to give me money. I do see some artists who are always like, hey, I use these paints. And it's like, it has a click through thing. Like they make money somehow. Will you be doing any more vinyl dolls? Yes. Um, I probably won't be making it my own because I have had a couple of companies now that have are interested in making them that do it like on a large scale. So I might be turning it over to a larger company to deal with because it. They take up a lot of room, like, like having them all takes up like a whole room, so if I had like more than two of them, it, it would be insane. So um, <laughs> it's it's such a big undertaking, it's something I'm probably going to have somebody else do for me. Especially if it's one of the big companies that sells them, you know, Target or whatever. That's fine by me. But I'll definitely keep you posted as I find out more. American butter, buttermilk biscuits or crispy European butter biscuits? Is, there, are, is that the choices? Uh, I like probably scones? would choose European. <laughs> I I'd probably choose the European one. I, I don't know. I, um, like, I don't like, have I'm a strong. To think things. I like scones. I like, yeah. Um... You know what I love, and and nobody bring them to me at a con. I'm good. Don't bring them. <laughs> I'm good because they're so fattening. Oh. The pan on chocolate. Oh. Which means you uh, like your pan bread with bread and chocolate. Yes. Especially from a good bakery or in Europe or something. Yes, or I particularly love it. Um, in France. And they're cheap yeah. as hell in France. Too. If I have them here in America, they um, usually add a lot of sugar and toppings yeah, on it. Yeah, they usually put like powdered sugar or right. like frosting on them, which is, I don't know why they put frosting on them. Right, and they do they do a fair semblance of them uh, at Epcot. Yeah, those are pretty In the French the, Pavilion. The well, they have so, French um, bakers there. But yeah, chocolate stuffed croissant. Uh, yeah, kinda. It's, I mean, it's a bar of semi-sweet, sometimes even dark chocolate. It's a very thin bar, just like a little, tiny little nubbins, and it's wrapped in a rectangular croissant. Basically. Yes, and it's it, like a sausage roll, but it's but like a sausage roll. But instead, there's with chocolate inside. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Why it's, does Jasmine yeah. smudge the paint with her finger? Okay, write you know, that so down. I, 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 no. <laughs> we need to explain. Why does Jet? Because people always ask that. I know. Well, I, what I wonder is why other people don't. It's like, well, I take the brush to put the water on it, put the paint on it, and then I kind of use the finger to paint with. So that's a, that's an <laughs> F FAQ alert. Yeah. It, it's if, uh, basically because all the, the drying and the layering and smudging and scumbling on, I, okay. on my painting is often what I do with my fingers, not what I do with the brush. That's something some artists might do with a brush. They might do it with a palette knife. They might have a rag or... Uh, corn cob, I don't know what people do, but I use my brush to kind of take the paint, put it on the 
canvas and just smear it around. I won't do that when it's very, very, very thin lines. I'll usually let them air dry since I mix water with my paints. They take a little bit longer to dry sometimes, so I don't want it to like smear. And people are saying blending is the secret, and uh, Bianca says makes it authentic. Yeah, it does, because in the future, 500 years from now, they can look at this painting and see my fingerprints in it. Oh, I want probably my DNA because I put my did brush we, in my mouth. Did we time. add those uh, to the slideshow? The new, yeah. Okay. Do we do we make it random? I haven't been watching the slideshow. Have we seen any pop up? Okay. So, uh, guys, uh, some of you uh, cool people out there, I had a call for uh, for uh, photos. Oh this yeah. This could be a photo of your coloring page. Uh, it could be a, a jasmine tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> It could be, to be jasmine themed, like jasmine themed things. Yeah. You could have, uh, yeah, jasmine coloring pages. Um, uh, maybe a picture of you with jasmine at a convention. Uh, perhaps uh, your layout, your art layouts. So I got some of those from you, and I put them into the slideshow. Oh, cool. And I'm waiting for some to pop up. So hopefully those those do Does pop up. Does it pop up, up randomly, we, like in the slideshow? We um <laughs> we think we set it to random. Okay. So um I know that a uh, few of you in the room had sent things. Tell so me that works. I, I, that's everyone cool. that sent me anything, I put them in the slideshow, oh, so you cool. may see it there. And also, um, are the eyes going to be bluish purple like the flower? They Jasmine? are. Yeah, I'll show you my picture of the flower. I kind of taped it up here. I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Is that? It, yeah. Here's a picture of what uh, the hyacinth flowers look like. So they're kind of blue purple. They kind of go all the way from being aqua to um kind of a dusty periwinkle. So those are the main colors I'm gonna be using in the painting. I'm gonna put some, um, have her eyes kind of a more light grayish blue, and then in the background, I'm gonna have some leaves, and I'm gonna give her some little flowers down here too. And then I've got, of course, playing on the hyacinth sort of theme, I've got Apollo and Hyacinthos as like a mural in the background, and I've got an old Greek vase down, you can't see at the bottom, but, um, that's holding her bouquet of flowers, this picture I took at a museum, and all things that have to do with hyacinths, basically. Which I love that are poisonous to cats, and we have sunshine, so. Yes, we do. <sighs> sunshine is a bother. <laughs> sunshine. It's my only sunshine. Tape that on here. I use a lot of masking tape because you can stick it kind of on top of anything, and it doesn't doesn't tear off paint. It doesn't leave sticky residue. It's actually made for painting walls, this type is. You, okay. You want to? Okay. We'll give, give, give it a shot. Just let me know if it doesn't work. We're, um, we're playing with some sound now. Oh, okay. Um, because I couldn't get the sunshine to work, and we think maybe before broadcast we forgot to turn it back on. Oh, okay. But I have my little... Cute Sorry. little sunshine button. Let oh. See if, <laughs> see if that one's working. Well, that one wasn't either, but I think our the new one's working though. So with the supplies. Oh, okay, cool. Um, thanks everyone for I'm coming. We're up to ninety there. viewers, Jasmine. We're what? We're at ninety viewers. Oh really? I wasn't yeah. sure if as many people show up because it was a. Kind totally. For the moment, but yeah, I know what you mean. Good to know. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, as um for those that are new to. Oh. So people are seeing images of the kitties up there. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I have no idea what's going That's on. That's okay. Adding some blue underneath her nose, which might sound kind of odd, but um, since I'm going to have a lot of blue on the lower half of the painting, um, a, a lot of that reflected color is going to throw um, be up on her face and then the lower part of her jaw and on the lowest part of her hair, etc. Um, I'm just kind of smudging the color on there as a reminder to myself, hey, make this look better later. <laughs> but I'm doing a very rough coloring inversion of having this, but her hair won't actually be blue. This will be like the reflections off of the other things around her. Mm -hmm. Is that working okay? 
Well, yep. Ah! Okay. <laughs> Thanks, like Brandon. So. You have to show me how you did that. It's a, it sounds like it's actually oh, okay. All right. But yes, that's that's Gamera. Uh, Gamera. If she comes down, I'll grab her. Or if I run up to the bathroom or something, I'll grab her too. Uh, uh, why? Gamera? Because she's lovely and she loves to be on TV. She bit me like 17 times yesterday. Oh, God. She was been bad. You know, she was good for a while. Not a while, but a moment <laughs> <laughs> no she's great um uh, I mean, no i love her very much the, la last night yeah, when we were watching that documentary uh, um i used gamer as a pillow and she did not care yeah i don't think she she's, felt it she's huge too she's you can you can fall asleep on her are, she you, doesn't are your cats that big brandon brandon are your cats big <laughs> sunshine so they're healthy weight. <laughs> yeah, sunshine's sunshine's, sunshine's a bit malnourished, skinny. and the and yeah. Gamera's uh, apparently uh, eats sunshine's food every day. Yeah. Jasmine, have you tried digital painting at all? I had to when I took a class when I was 18, 17 or eighteen at school, and we had to have a, a computer art credit to show that we could use a computer and graduate or something. Yeah, and I took a class at UMKC in digital art. And I'm sure it has changed a lot since then. We're talking like 20 years ago. But, um... No, it hasn't I mean, changed at all, Jasmine. I don't it's like, exactly the I, same. I don't like doing digital art. Really. It's, it's moved slower than I'm virtual not reality. In it. I, I'm, I, I, I think people do cool stuff with it. But I myself, I, I, I don't know. I, I think of it as like a video game version of playing, making art. I think of getting dirty and moving around and stuff. And I don't know. You like to, like you like the. the I don't want to make a, a video game. The physical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aspect I like of it. I cut the wood and I'll, yeah. But oh, cool. Uh, do beautiful thank you, Crazy. It. it probably did go to me. If it's <laughs> mad at strangling.com. Oh. Versus, it's not mad at strangling.com. That's some other no weirdo. Strangling. <laughs> strangling. <laughs> but I want to. Put up a, the link for Storm Chaser. Oh, yeah. So she's, the original painting of her has sold out long ago in the, so of the limited editions, but we do have open edition canvas. What are they, like 90 bucks or something? I should probably know this. Um, and like signed prints from yeah, 90, 11, 11 99 11 99 um, to 99 99 To $99.99. $99.99. $99. $99. $99. $99. $99. $99. $99. $99. what size, all that, what type of print. Those we always ship worldwide, and those are all available up at strangeling.com. Ooh. And oh. there are thousands of other pictures. <laughs> My first time watching and loving it right now. Oh, thank oh, you, thank Beautifully you. Sober. Very happy to hear that. You, you look darn good when you're sober. Beautifully Sober. <laughs> Digital art is cool. I did as a part of my college multimedia course okay. that I did last year. That's Karen, Jasmine. Oh. I mean, it was fun, but it wasn't something I would I ever really thought about doing again after that the class was over. I don't, I don't know. I still have the same Photoshop I had in that class, too. That was in 1997, and I got Photoshop 6.0, and I got it with my student discount because I was enrolled in the even though I had to paint at home I, I was enrolled in the actual college and I bought Photoshop 6 and I still have it on my computer and that's the only one I have used since then I it's true it's what they don't believe me and they're like well, how does it still work it's on a different OS and I say I don't know I'm just copying it onto my new computer and I've it works with forever. our printers like, yeah yeah and it's literally it still has my registration on it from 1997 so yeah, Brandon, you should look over it, my shoulder amazing. sometime when I'm yeah. goofing off on our old Photoshop. <laughs> Probably looks like caveman stuff. I know. But my I, Fitbit I, says I, I need to like jog for a while, Jasmine. What's that? My Fitbit says I need to jog for a while. Well, I can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. My Fitbit probably saying that I need to also. I don't want yeah, to go jogging right now. It says I need to take 239 steps or I'm a loser. Sorry. I put it on mean mode. Mean? Is that an option? No, I, I'm oh. an utter liar. Oh, I yeah. thought it might be kind of funny if you had like an exercise thing that was actually mean to you. Oh, there's there are tons of apps. <laughs> you know, the apps about... that start erasing your uh, hard drive or something. Oh, if you really? Don't... Oh, probably. Oh, I know they're like, writing apps like that. Oh, like your bank account and stuff. And, yeah. 
Oh, that... Jog in place. Uh, no, that's that's for a different. That's a different sort of twitch. <laughs> My Fitbit stopped asking me to jog. It just asked me if I'm dead at this point. Oh. Wow. Mine takes my pulse. I think they all do now. My Roku kept, keeps asking me if I'm still watching Forensic Files. Well. Yeah. <laughs> Even when you're not. I know. March in place. I'm good. I'm good. We can get steps after we're over. It'll still probably be light out. I remember back in the good old days with the first Fitbit, I could just kind of <laughs> put it on uh, the like the dryer or the washing <laughs> machine and just like let it go. Yeah, remember that one time we were in, we're in an airplane? Yes, we're in an airplane. And I put and it in my luggage yes. and it got like, I don't know, like thousands yeah, of steps. Thousands of steps, yes. While we were on an airplane, the little Fitbit pedometer thing did. It yeah. Was very funny. It's like a, you ran to uh, California or wherever you're flying to. It's mm -hmm. probably California or something. I don't, I don't know. know. It's been forever since I've been on a plane. <sighs> you know, I don't miss it at all. I really hate plane well, rides except for the movies. Well, there was like, um, year, a couple years ago, I went on 46 flights in one year and I figured it out. And it just seemed, I, it was driving me crazy. <laughs> I just I don't I like I don't mind flying all that much, but I don't like doing it every week. Whatever, like you nine know. of those were on little hopper planes A in lot Africa, of Jasmine. Flights and, what's that? Nine of them were on little hopper flights in Africa, right? A lot of them, yeah. Well, th th that's boo hoo. Well, those are fun. No, <laughs> no, yeah. but not. I'm talking about going to like uh, MCO to LAX. Uh, to X, uh, that is not fun. You know? Yeah. No. It just kind of sucks my energy out. I hate it. Yeah. It'll set that as a personal record. Yeah, I, gosh, I I don't know how, I don't know the most I've flown in a year. Maybe like uh, that's, half I'm, that. I'm sure that is the most I've done it because I can't think of another year that I've flown somewhere almost every week. Yeah. And this year I haven't been on a plane. I hate layovers. So, yeah. Angela does not like flying. Crazed rider hates flying, but will if I have to. I, I mean, I like where I'm I going like going to. going places. And I'm I not scared traveling. of flying. I just hate the whole security. I hate the and, indignity of it. Yeah, I just I feel. I don't do well against I feel like I'm herded. A few drinks on the plane. And, I don't like it. Our last flight was delayed because they had to replace the plane engine so loud afterwards. Thank God for the free booze. Oh. Yeah, that Nintendo oh. guy. It's like, I've never. The place I see people, and I don't even know if these people normally drink i just see the gin flying on international flights oh, yeah. they give it for free because yeah, there's nothing else to do besides free, watch movies yeah. and and have gin. i imagine well, if you they give you free wine and stuff don't they they well they give you free everything yeah they do i think yeah i, think they I don't do. remember I don't it depends on which charge, flight yeah, on um most international flights most places will give you the uh, free wine oh uh, at least so blobs kind of open a can of worms here but i don't no. mind flying i just hate the way the airlines overbook every flight I because god too. forbid they have an empty seat i think if Ugh. any I, I think if any other industry did that it would be very heavily criticized or yeah. possibly illegal you know what i mean yeah dacia says the whole process of getting or getting on or off a plane is ugh. yeah I agree. Final oh, Destination did it to movies. me. <laughs> yeah. Why do we keep talking about that movie? You weren't even in the last uh, broadcast cra craze. What was it? And we talked about Final Destination. God, we were talking. Oh, it's because I was saying that if I wanted to die, I'd want the I want it to get me. The creature from it, Pennywise. Oh, Pennywise. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's because he doesn't eat things. He d he'll like. Oh, he might turn into. Take his head off, and he'll turn into yeah. like. 15 spiders. Yeah, that'd be an ironic death. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I never fly on a plane. Never fly on plan? Plane? On a plane? Or on a Small plan. cramped you spaces. Ugh, yeah. Tiny. Okay, I, I kind of love little planes that um, weigh you and your suitcase at the same time and that you have to be under a certain amount. Yes. But, but you can... Yeah, if you're small, you can bring as much stuff as you that want. Happened, basically, the only the only time I that happened to me, it probably happened to you a lot in Africa. Yeah. The only time that happened to me is when we Costa went to Rica. yeah, we went to Costa Rica, yeah. and we got on one of the. Remember, I had a did it have a frog on the side of the it plane? Did, they have actually in Costa Rica, Costa Rica Airlines. They um, they're I forgot what is their main local airline there? Cop, not Copa. Um, I don't know. I forget. But they have the super cutest airplanes because they're all tiny and they have 
all local, like Costa Rican artists paint different animals and things that are endemic to um, Costa Rica, and they'll put them, paint them on the outside the airplane, and it's then the inside they'll have a little description in the little magazine about who who did the artwork and stuff. Yeah, those movies are messed up. I'm just, it'd be so quick. At least they're all quick deaths and Final these? Destination. Oh yeah. I flew Not from like South. Ca- I flew from South Carolina to California in 2012. Oh man, that was an ominous year back that in the day. A, yeah, that was a creepy year. To fly. Six and a half hours, a lot of turbulence, and and pilot had to do a, a U-turn. So windy. But remember, everyone is going to say, remember 2012 was the apocalypse. Oh yeah. Yeah, and now everyone's kind of uh, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. And on in the next one. No, it was 1999. Yep. And before that, it was something else in 1984 and whatever. 2020 always had a good ring to it, and it's not proving me wrong yet. So I, mm, I don't know. It, yeah. I miss traveling, but I never really liked flying. I would say any mode of travel is more enjoyable to me than flying, except sometimes driving, depending on if it's me and where where I'm driving. Flying out of you're flying out of some places. It's very different, and they have different rules for security for some reason than flying in America. You know, like in some places you can bring as much fluids as you want. In some places you can bring all your stuff with you if you want. Some places have you no know, catapults, <laughs> as they kept. Remember, I kept showing you those, Maddie. Yeah, and I was like catapults, <laughs> like, no and then catapults. you, then you, I realized, or you told me that they were slingshots. Yeah, that's what they call slingshots. In, I think the um, in Africa, in the a wrist America. rocket type. Yeah, perhaps. yeah. Well, they use them because monkeys try to get stuff. So you take a balled up piece of paper, so it doesn't hurt the monkey, and you shoot it at a monkey if he's trying to steal your drink or whatever, and he just runs away because he's afraid of. I do that to my nephew. Like, yeah, exactly. That'd be great try to steal pet. my drink. Boom. Yeah. Well, monkeys love to steal your drinks. Like if you have an outdoor bar anywhere and anywhere I, that has monkeys, monkeys. I've will never get had into that, that happen. I, I've on purpose fed a monkey watermelon. Yeah. Remember that one arm monkey? Oh yes. Well, he only had one arm. Yeah, he was cute. He needed the watermelon. He was man. He wanted to kill me though. He was an evil monkey. He but... he kind of took the watermelon and, and eyeballed me like, the I whole time he, he was eating it. Stole the watermelon. I think you were mugged. <laughs> Well, I, the thing, yeah, I have a problem where I'm I'm not as afraid of some animals as I should be. Yeah. And then I'm over, then, but it's funny how much I love horses, but I'm always cautious around them. You should I'm be like, cautious Kick you right in the face. They can kick you in the head, yeah. My husband doesn't fly with going cruises instead. Oh, uh, yeah. Are best way to That's travel. That's the best way to travel. Well, you know, if there was a comparably fast cruise that would go to <laughs> London from Orlando, that'd be great. <laughs> I, I did make friends with him, kind of. I was his friend, but he wasn't my friend, crazy. Oh, M.K. Higgs said, I thought Matt meant the frogs were on the wing of the plane, like oh, in the Twilight Zone Gremlins. Like, like gremlins. Yeah, that's when I was doing my um, my impression Your there. Shatner impression. Yeah, Shatner. Mm-hmm. Of course, uh, or it could be Twilight Zone, the movie, where John Lithgow oh, played that is, character. Yeah, right. But I, I don't even know how to do a John Lithgow. And I, I mean, I, and my Shatner's pretty weak, so... Kids are, no- <laughs> Kids are notorious food and drink stealers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our cats aren't, but we don't eat anything that cats like. Like, hey, you want some cashew cheese? Pay for global global entry is the best thing ever. It's The thing is, that isn't available in every, every airport, so it's not... It's not available at couple of the main airports yeah and i'm like what so it's like if i had to pay for unless that, things I have could, changed i should only use it at, that's true but last it wasn't at um gatwick right i don't know it was and we use we use gatwick like a million times more than Heathrow because it has a regular cheap non-stop from orlando so we just go straight shot overnight you wake up and you're there where is the first place you would like to travel when we can travel again um, ah. gosh, uh, it's, it's, you know, I, I think about that daily and it changes. Year, so that might be nice. It's okay. often London. Yeah. Um, well, I, well, like I said, I've got like half finished artwork that I'm supposed to have at a show and it's in London and that's Kansas true. City and <laughs> I don't know when I can get it. I'm yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do. I, I would say either a big, one of the big cities of the world, obviously. A, yeah. I miss city stuff a lot. Or because some sort of nature thing. Yeah. 
but nowhere in America per se. No, other than obvious things like seeing friends or family or whatever. Yeah. But as far as um, locations. Oh, thank you. All we right, raffle camping. time, guys. Oh, raffle time. And this is for a print. For, um, yeah. For Let me open this thing. And I is, pick again. winner. Boom. Okay, here. Matthew three eight six nine. And is that uh, is that um, French Matthew? Oh, is it? Oh, I know a couple of French Matthews. Well, Ricky's Matthew. It's, oh, Ricky's it, Matthew. It, oh, maybe. Like the T H I E Matthew. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But well, congratulations, me... Matthew. It's not mad at any rate, so that's the important thing. Hey, who is that? Is that Sunshine? Where'd Sunshine go? I'm trying to highlight their name. I heard her jingling. Mm. Oh, well. oh, I can't copy paste this name. Darn it. Oh, there. I can copy paste it from that. Was that trying to make me chat? Sorry, there's some. Trying to send you a message. There's oh. some funky things here. Yeah, we have uh, again. We were on hiatus for a while at um. Twitch, and so when we came back, a lot of the software had changed and stuff. Well, so we yeah, this is part of the new um, OBS thing, or whatever software. Streamlabs funky thing we're using. Streamlabs funky thing. Hey, I like it though. Oh, it's growing good. on me like a like a tangled moss. Hmm. I'm gonna put a moss garden in our backyard. It'll only take three months to get to you. Ha ha ha! I. Don't hear that all the time. Mm. Not my fault, people. <laughs> yeah, but I don't have to send it. I mean, it if you don't want it. Yeah. No, it needs to be a nice email address. It's like, hey, if you have some concerns about why your package is late, you can contact so and so. Mm. All right, so. I will start the next raffle. Okay, and the next one is for the little pin. For butterfly and bones. Yeah, pin. let me find that, is that here. The right thing? Yeah. Complete that one. Yep. It's complete. And there we go. And I'll hit the little thing this time, Brandon. Mm -hmm. I did it. Proud of me. Yeah. It says something that popped up on the screen over here. Oh, something popped up on your screen? I don't know what it is. I can't see that far, but there's like a big white thing that, and before it was dark. What's that? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't Show me how to, show me what to do. I can't see it. <laughs> but I can see there's a big warning or something. Okay, so... Your art cam froze, Jasmine. And it has like a, yeah, I don't know if it's because the McAfee thing popped up or not. Yeah, yeah, I did. Did it bring it back? Did it bring it back? Okay, I got it. Did it pop up? Is that because of the pop up? Or is that? It's like it's frozen, so it's going to stay frozen. Do I have to tap the screen? On the viewfinder, it looks like it's seen my hand. Okay. Yeah. But. I wonder if folks can hear me. Oh, you, you keep working on that, Brandon. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to give Elise talk. Sure. Actually, I did need to have a Oh, let's, a let's take a break while Brandon break works quick, on that. So okay. While Brandon's redoing that. We're going to take a little break. Okay.
All right, we are back. Okay. I have to run more schoolwork to do with my kiddo. Oh, gosh. Oh, good on it's you, Crazed. I could not imagine school, helping man. out a kid with school. Oh. 
Okay. Awesome. Looks like everything's back. Everything's working. Yep. But yeah, I think that um, Angela was saying that the new cam is good. I really think I it think shows the details dark. better. Yeah, I think so too. But I think it's a little dark. I looked at the one that was on um, YouTube and it looked dark. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it looked on my right now. I think it looks good. Well, if you look at personally. the painting, though, that you'd have to, you'd have to look at oh, the painting. Oh, that's to see. true. Yeah. Otherwise but I still think know. that the um, as far as like seeing details. Yeah. It might be dark, but I think I can see the details. Yeah, I think so better too. than uh, whatever that. That other camera. The webcam was. sort of thing. Yeah, the other one was is, like a webcam. This yeah. is just like a regular video camera that looks yeah. like that. But it's a nice one. Aw, Tammy says you look beautiful. Oh, thank you, Tammy. I was going to say, what you, who, me or Matt? And I'm like, oh, you can't see Maddie. I'm <laughs> <laughs> it says, oh, Jasmine, you're, you're looking beautiful ever. Oh, thank you. For as ever, probably. <laughs> as ever. I'm putting words in people's mouth now. So this is um so our giveaway is this is what we had this is the giveaway uh, originally we we're gonna have for Sunday, yeah. um but we switched the day to Wednesday here yeah. so next week even if we have it or not we're still good we'll still give away that um August pin uh, or I'm sorry uh September's September pin, pin of the month pin, and Jasmine can give you a nice little preview yet but you can look at the artwork for it which is here. Yes, it's the pastel version of um, Milagros Corazon, one of my Dia de Muertos series. So she will be the variant to her, and she'll be the September pin of the month. So, hey, actually, for once, they should be ready in time for Dia de Muertos. Yeah, yeah people are saying that the resolution is way better. Oh, good. On this That's one. what I want to hear. I don't care as much about the picture of me, but the thing I'm working on, I like people to be able to see. In a little bit, I'm going to... Um, Stop. I'm going to scoot it over a bit, and you can see me working on part of the mural in the background, which is going to be look a little different. There's a painting I did called um, Delusions of Grandeur that has a really neat, like, fresco on the wall behind it that's being torn off, like, wallpaper strips, and I'm kind of doing that in an external scene. It should be looking interesting. I'll have to see while I work on it, but if it looks like it well and it does in my head, it should look pretty cool. You missing something? So I'm gonna scoot that over. Your phone? <laughs> I can text you. Let's see. I've got my other piece of paper here. Is it over? Maybe you took it over there. Oh okay. You, you, did you lose your phone in our house, Bridget? <laughs> yeah, it's not that big a house. Let's see. So here's the picture. This is Emily de Bologna. And this is Apollo and Hyakintos, who, of course, is the oh, uh, god for um, Hyacinth. That's their word. What's that? Millie says the Milagro series is one of my favorites. Oh. But I'm biased since that's my formal name. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that's Millie. a lovely name. <laughs> Aw. Millie's a good nickname for uh, Milagros. For Milagros? Yeah. And um, Miracle. Miracles. They're like the little... Do I have that behind me? Yeah, I should show this actually. Can I hear Jasmine in Mexico. Good? You can hear Jasmine good? Amy says uh, she's having a hard time hearing Jasmine, but she can oh. hear me fine. That's interesting. Um, but... It's because the two mics make such a loud sound. Oh, okay. Oh. Sometimes it only plays through one speaker, but not the other. Oh. Are you listening just with one... Are you li... How are you, are you listening, listening to us? Are you listening on a mono speaker or on like one earphone of a speaker or one of your speakers is out? <laughs> That's usually the case, especially if it's just one person that's happening to. But I wanted to show you, this is this is actually the one I got in Mexico. It's got a whole bunch of little Milagros charms all over it. And it's a Corazon, so it's a little heart. And then when I did my painting, I kind of loosely based it off that whole sort of heart idea. Yeah. And that worked out really good. I'm Where'd we get that one? Like the wrong one? I think I got it in Mexico. I thought we got it in New Mexico. Or I got it. Actually, I got it in New Mexico, not in regular <laughs> Mexico. Not old Mexico. But me and that, that was a cool... I, I bought a lot of other stuff. In that New was Mexico. a really cool uh, area we're in. Um, yeah, what was that little that's, plaza? That's the old town area. I, I know exactly. It's the old town area of um, Albuquerque. Right. And it's like by the old mission there. Cute little, you know, downtowny, old-timey shopping and stuff. Western cute stuff. 
I'm not sure, Lots Amy. Um, everybody else doesn't seem to have any problems hearing. Um, but yeah, it could be how your speakers are set up. Because we have two mics. Yeah. Um, if you're only hearing Jasmine very faintly, you're probably hearing her through my mic. Which... Which means you're... Which means, like, you'd be hearing her from across the room like I am. Like, how if you have mic. the left and right sides of your speakers, right. it's only hearing one of your ears. Yeah, maybe one of your speakers is out. That's what it is whenever that happens to me. Either that or, like, one of the wires is loose in one of my earphones or... I remember... Or be have set on your TV or video game if you have it in mono sometimes. What's a million years ago when I had a compact computer. Oh, and I was, wow. like, I was so happy I got it from Sears. Uh-huh. That's back when you they get computers, computers from Sears. Man. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's compact. Back then, it was a good thing. Yeah. 250 megabytes of raw power. 250 megabytes. And I could play Tomb Raider and a million other games well, on it. That's pretty good. But, you know, that was old pixely Tomb Raider. Yeah. So, but I, at the time, the graphics looked incredible. And the dinosaur was really I scary. I remember, and you were actually afraid of the dinosaur. Yes. I still am a little. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that virtual reality... Oh, the the power of glove. We watched another documentary called The Power of Glove. Oh, yes, about the Nintendo Power Glove. Yes, if any of you uh, remember back in... It was 1989. I didn't have one uh, myself. <laughs> that's, um, and I always thought it was... Uh, with uh, Nintendo, I was I thought that they had developed it. But little did I know, Mattel actually developed the power well, glove. Actually, NASA did, and Mattel licensed the design. Yeah, whatever. But, okay. They branded it as they a Nintendo They branded thing. it as Mattel for the toy. And thing. it's funny because there's a bit... Oh, shoot. I left the, did I leave the refrigerator door open? I, I don't know. Oh. Let me go look. I, That's I You're I, notorious for that. Yeah, I, I don't like closing it. <laughs> like yeah, leaving it so open and then leaving the window open. <laughs> then I don't need to run the AC. I see your green machine in there. <sighs> Sorry. Can you get me green machine? Yeah. Thank you. It's a, it's not exciting. It's a smoothie. <laughs> sounds like it's going to be cool. Well, get the green machine. A naked green machine. A naked green machine. It sounds very enticing, but it's it's, awesome. it's a type of smoothie that just a bunch of green vegetables all blended and it's supposed to be healthy and stuff. You want it here? I'll give it to you in here. We can promote something cool. <laughs> no, it's not. I don't want to start talking about what brands of soda I'm drinking. <laughs> It is actually really good, but it's not, it's not the same. Oh, I thought you were talking about the brand of the smoothie. No, I was like, well, I don't tell people. What is a souvenir? Oh. Yeah. A smoothie does not it look once, very enticing. It once held wine. It once held wine, but now it held it's a green smoothie. Easy. It's from Hamilton. It's, God, is it the one we got in Hamilton in London, or was it when Hamilton, New, New York? York. Oh. Yeah. Hamilton, New York. That'd be funny if I got one in London also. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna keep blood sugar and whatever. Oh, that's why she had to get up to get her, probably. Yeah. Yeah, if I missed any questions, uh, I guess I can scroll up. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Something cool since you mentioned NASA. The guy that lives across from us worked on the cameras for the first moon landing. Oh. Yeah, was right. Was it Stanley Kubrick? No. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I didn't know you lived next to Kubrick. <laughs> that is awesome. That's very cool. The moon landing, things flapping in the fake wind of the moon. I, I very much am interested, and in, I believe in the moon landings. But I, I believe like, in the moon I landing too. I love watching so. documentaries with alternative ideas about the moon landings. That is just great giggles for me. But. <laughs> My gosh, Brandon's dangerous. Close. Brandon's gonna ruin our living room with his uh, with his. Uh, <laughs> What what sort of phone? Oh, Android phone. Oh, yeah. Should have bought an Apple. Yeah, I. Yeah. Well, hey, I no, I just I use iPhones because it's easy. I need to. I kind of hate iPhones. So. Um, Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine hate hates a. Uh, Jasmine used to go around with a calculator and she used to talk into it, pretending she had a, a cell phone. <laughs> I did not. I hated telephones even when I was little. Trying to learn the new stuff here, Crash Course. Is it, how new is it? I haven't figured it out. What's Android's that? rule says, "Oh, hey Heather Hitchman, hey Heather, oh, um, Heather. while you're here, uh, in the future, would you, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't ask her. I don't know. Oh, oh yeah, sure, honey. Yeah, if she wants to. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh, hey Heather, if you ever want to 
try to figure out how to like stream alongside us or yeah, we were, like at the we same time you want to come virtual guest you want to be a guest on our just, stream sometime yeah, if, if you ever have like an hour or something we would Heather, love to have you heather's great she does she all said hey awesome art if and, we're talking real, about digital hey. and traditional she does both she's pretty awesome yeah heather teaches me some things on yeah uh, she's tech savvy on to twitch oh my god i would love that yes oh, that was all caps hey. Yes, thank you, Heather. You got it, Heather. Yeah, yeah. um, Brandon and I have uh, looked at your your broadcast a few times, and I was like, yeah, we kind of need to do something like that and that and that. So we've we've st- not stolen from Heather. We just you know <laughs> get ideas, and Which she's is, always helpful. Uh, we've yeah. helped her, and she's helped us. Yes, very much so. That's how it works. That's how, that's how things should yes. work. Yes. Very true. Thank you for the invite. Yeah, we'll figure it out, Heather. Well, I'll talk to you about it yeah, later. Yeah, we probably, um, probably won't I think be that we're gonna have to. Brandon said that that might be some sort of Discord thingy, so we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um. I think it'll be fun. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I think, and I'm pretty sure that Heather, like, a while back, actually has done that on her own broadcast. Yeah, because I remember I watched it, and somebody else was on it with her. I think, right? Uh, I, I think. Hey, Brandon, do you know how? To, do you have to be in the room to win the raffle now? Yeah. As long as they enter and they're a follower, okay. they're good. You, I think you have to enter and be a follower, uh, Purple. Yeah, I just gotta enter and click the little purple heart follow thing. And it's free, don't worry, it doesn't charge you. Uh, P- purple's your name. Mm, the button is purple, also. Oh, freaky. To, it's a little purple, like, heart shape that's by your oh, okay. name, I think. Yeah. I don't know what goes on. That's okay. Well, am I not following you, Jasmine? I don't know. Oh, no, because I hovered over and said unfollow. Oh. Oh, it looked like a broken heart. Oh. That was trippy. Don't press that, guys. you from unfollowing people. Jeez. Will you be doing any other Haunted Mansion commissions? I'd love to. Yeah, if Disney asked me, yeah. Um, it, they're not in my current next round of contracts, um, but maybe in the next round, so we'll see. So I've got three pieces. I've got two finished pieces and one possible other one in the works right now for Disney. One is actually possibly for Lucasfilm, so we've got to wait on a special approval from them. Lucas, what's that? What's Lucasfilm? Lucasfilm, I don't know. Uh, very, huh? Very I don't. Excited who's Lucas? Lucas, George Lucas. George Lucas. That does He's a not. Student of a Joseph Campbell. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> actually, uh, that's something I introduced Brandon to. The, um, it was Joseph Campbell, Howard and then. Uh, then after we talked about it, he studied uh when he was studying story you mm-hmm. learned more about yep yeah well that's it that's a very good mythology that's class that the... sounds awesome yeah gosh i never it's the only class i do well in class in school Dude. yeah well brandon has cool classes we had the option to take the bible as literature which i always thought was kind of weird at a i i took that too it was called the first 17 years of my life oh. <laughs> my wife and i are big fans of jasmine's work oh, thank and always seem to miss her when she's at Disney Springs. She's oh. like a slippery fish. I am. Um, question for Jasmine. Yeah. How would someone go about getting an original artwork piece? Oh, well, it um, depends. If it's one from Disney, you have to buy those from Disney. So my, my next few pieces at Disney will be available from Disney's Wonderground Gallery. And um, basically, you contact the store and you can buy them there. They usually... With the Disney ones, they tend to sell sometimes the first day. So it's some people wait up early and get there and stuff. Yeah, so often they do go to people in person as opposed to over the phone. Um, as far as other paintings, like this one I'm working on right now, this is going to be at my gallery show coming up next year at the Corey Halford Gallery in Los Angeles. And you can get on the collector's list. There'll be a whole bunch of new paintings that are being in that show. And if you email Sherry at the Corey Halford Gallery, Matt, you can pop that up. You yep. can be on the collector's list, and it will they'll send you a thing like, hey, here's all the paintings, here's what they cost, and if you want them, let us know. And you don't have to go in person. I usually have a couple originals up on my website. I think I might have maybe two or three up there right now. And I think I have a couple originals hanging right now in the Corey Halford Gallery in Los Angeles also. 
on my strangeling.com page if you look at originals or if you scroll down here on Twitch if you go down kind of to the bottom of the main page it says original paintings and if you click on that it'll take you to the part of my website that says hey there's a, these paintings are left and you can look at those sometimes too I'll auction off original paintings on eBay or I'll do them I'll auction them off here on Twitch we do that sometimes with little mini paintings Hey Jasmine. Yeah. Um, do you wanna work on any ACAOs? Yeah, you know, I do. I wanna do a little bit more on this. You know, when it comes to the You know, maybe I should work on ACOs. Yeah, why don't I do that now? Do you want uh Okay. Uh do you want me to show them to you? Which one do you wanna yeah, work on? Yeah, if okay. you wanna show me some, I'll look at them. Okay, so that's a good idea. I have some ACEO cards. I'll talk about that for a little bit too. Yeah. I wanna show this off. I want to show this off real quick. Hey, is this, is the, um, is it frozen? Is it frozen? Is it frozen? I don't know. Huh? Yeah, I don't know if I can be. show it. Oh, is the other one, is the one with me in it frozen? No. Oh, okay. Well, you could, <laughs> meantime, I'll show off the picture of how it looks. It gives you a better idea how big it is, too. I'm not a very large person, but this is a 16 by 20. The next pictures I'm going to be working on are going to be some very little ones that I'll have here in front of me. Apologies if the technical difficulties are being strange. I don't know if y'all are hearing me or not, but I can say hi. Hello. Okay. Well, let me move these out of the way. Sure. I'm sorry. That's okay. Oh, here's the picture of the little Greco-Roman um, pot I was gonna put in there. I'm sure I'm telling the world, not oh, you, yes. Maddie. <laughs> You've probably already seen a little I'm picture sure of, the I'm not part of the world. <sighs> part of your world. But anyways, there is a little camera. Doo -doo -doo. But that little pot's gonna go way down here. Got it. I think I know how I'm to do making, it. I'm making it a little smaller, about like that big. And all flowers coming out of it. So gotcha. Matt, were, you, were you coming to take this from me, baby? Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the cabinet for now because okay. I don't think there's enough room on there. No, all the Disney ones are on the other easel, which is why you can't look at it. Oh, you may guess it. <laughs> He's talking the painting, not me. No, I was talking the, uh, um, yeah, I forgot the name. I know. <laughs> when no one's around, I kiss Jasmine's paintings. Lots of people do. Let's see. Yeah, if you can bring me one of the Sure. ACO. Let's see what we got. I've kinda, I can kind of fan at you if you like. Yeah. Tell me what looks good. This one. This is a pretty little one. Yeah, sure. Thank okay. you, baby. This is a pretty little one. This is actually an ACEO card. Oh, for those who don't know, an ACEO card is a um, art cards, additionals, and additions, and originals, and it means it is an original painting or a limited edition um, piece of artwork that is 2.5 by 3.5 inches. That's the magic size that goes with ACEOs. And it can be made out of anything, but it has to be 2.5 by 3.5 inches because it's the size of a, a um, trading card, like a baseball card or a Pokemon card or Magic the Gathering or whatever. So what you do is I take, for my ACO cards, I only make one of each one because I already paint enough stuff. So I just make one of each of my paintings as a little tradable card and I do it as a canvas print. And then what I do is I go in with my paints and that's what I'll be doing right now. I paint little details, maybe all little extra flowers or hair or something. And I go and sign, date it, and I number it number one out of one because I only make one. And then I auction these up on eBay. I'll probably have these done by the time of next Sunday's, of this coming Sunday's broadcast, and we can show you them. Maybe you'd like to purchase them then. But in the meantime, you can watch me paint them. Yep. Oh, Jasmine. Yeah. Uh, Leela's asking about Dorian Gray. Oh. Have you thought about a Dorian Gray type of picture? I surely have. <laughs> 
I was just thinking about this actually. Um, I well, I have um, I had for a while um, a character that I want to do a girl version of Dorian Gray. That was Dorian oh, Gray, like A N N E, and then Gray. And then I was going to Google that first to see if like anybody else had a character like that. So I possibly. I've read the book. <laughs> seen the movie. <laughs> Which one? I've seen two different versions. You know, the first time I ever this saw was, it. The recent one was Stuart Townsend in it. And wasn't it? Stuart Townsend, he was, yeah, that was the yeah. uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Oh, yeah, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm from like think... 2007 no, I'm or something. Of, um, like a recent one of Dorian Gray that came out. We mm. watched it on like Thanksgiving or something. I don't remember that. Okay, Maybe we watched we did. it when we watched Goya's Ghosts. It was Thanksgiving? And I think it was Thanksgiving. I might have been asleep. Yeah. There was much mulled wine to have been had. Heck, I don't even need that. I eat so much, I just oh, kind of... Oh, Thanksgiving? Yeah, you just get tired from yeah. eating so much food. So I'm taking masking tape right now. I'm going to try to zoom in a lot more here. I'm watching you. Oh. Where is my hand? Okay. <laughs> Jasmine, the cameraman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a great photographer. Viewfinder. Good, good. Oh, cool. You got it. All righty. Now this is a painting that probably only one or two of you have ever seen before if you're even in the room. But it was a custom piece I did earlier, just not that long ago, maybe a couple months ago. And it was some of those, um, I had a series of mini paintings that I had put up in the Patreon, Patreon only section of my strangeling.com website. And I put some up there and said, hey, you get to buy this and then you get to tell me how to finish painting it. and they sold out I think faster than anything ever happened so I had I painted those and I, I they were all already sold so a lot of you haven't seen these but you can buy the ACEO and that's the only way I really do prints of mini paintings because I would just go insane if I had to make that many prints I think keep uh, track of them Tammy name them Tyrone all. says girl power <laughs> wait Jasmine are you art spice what <laughs> Art? I'm arty spice uh, arty spice oh god I'm curry spice curry spice oh my god Hi, lime yeah. spice, tender, yeah. So I've got the tiny little canvas here. And this is the same sort of canvas that really that we use for when we do our big canvas jaclets. This is the same sort of material, really just printed very smallly on the jaclet. And I'm taking my own the paints that I've used for painting and I will be painting little details on her. It was a painting and she had asked for it to resemble her daughter and I wanted a purple ladybug. So that's what, that's what I painted in there. I'll probably put some more of those up sometime soon. A lot of people have been asking about minis and custom minis and I, I'm still mired in Disney stuff at the moment, but I will be getting some more of that, that thing up for people to buy soon. Don't worry. Don't want to leave people with nothing to buy. I don't think anyone's currently in their prior mojo from like a year ago or something. Uh, I think everybody's kind of uh, full. So what do you mean? It's just a weird time. Oh, I didn't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just thinking about like uh, as far as like I can't read it. There's something in the chat. No, no, no. Okay. Just I'm just chatting with you. Okay. No spice chicks. Okay, I'm sorry. No spice jokes? Spice chicks. Oh, spice chicks. What's spice chicks? Like spice girls? Yeah. yeah. All those girls with their adjectives. I know it. Such and such spice. Pretty that was that was a that was a weird movement there. <laughs> yeah, the I was spice too girls. old at the time to really be into that, I think. Yeah, I remember that. When they were I mean, really popular, like, I think we had our first apartment together, yeah. right? I don't know. No, I think I was in school still. Oh, well, wait, yeah, I was still. So, yeah, it was probably our first apartment. Yeah. Yeah. The, the one at Willow Creek. Uh-huh, yeah. 
That was fun when we watched. We walked to the grocery store. Uh huh. That was a good one. Walked down, ran a movie. Mm hmm. Yeah. Renting movies. Renting yeah. movies. Oh, that's another documentary. We <laughs> <watched. laughs> watch a lot of documentaries yeah we do uh, i know but <laughs> watch uh netflix versus the world that was really really cool that was good um which uh that's about the development of netflix as a company and as a dot com boom starting up the older models of renting things right and it was uh i like a high-powered ceos making decisions when you had blockbuster and then like these you know, scrappy startup guys. Yeah, it's got one of those. Netflix it's kind of one of those underdog stories, and you don't hear that very often with large companies. Yeah, so it, it's it's I'm an sure interesting. Um, pisses off eventually. But... What? Uh huh? Netflix? No. Oh, I was talking about big companies in general. Oh well, Netflix is no, the big company yeah, now. I know. Now they are big. That's companies. what happens. So yeah, I remember being a fairly early adopter of. Netflix. Uh, we were. We got Netflix right early. Yeah. Well, right I hated away. Blockbuster, so I was. Yeah. I was up for anything other than Blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, and I guess the time at by the time that Blockbuster got rid of their late fees, we are already we Netflixy. Were probably all Netflixy. The last Blockbuster in Bend, Oregon documentary should be coming out soon. Yeah, you were telling me, Brandon, that's is it a B and B or something? Oh. <laughs> They turned the last blockbuster into a, a bed and breakfast or something. That's bizarre. Yeah, in Bend, Oregon. Oh my gosh! I know there was like how three of them were left in Alaska and those closed. Alaska, there there were four. There was one, two, three in Alaska, and the, mm -hmm. then Bend, Oregon's the last one. The three in Alaska are gone. Yeah. So you have to get it. Oh okay. Katie still gets the DVDs from Netflix. Oh really? You know, I think we have a couple that we haven't returned yet. I think yet. I have some. Return yeah, money. they're like in the cabinet. Oh I guess God. they're ours now. I don't know. Yeah. I, I can return them. We should, we should return them. Oh, uh, yeah. I remember the late fees from Blockbuster. They'd it was like, they're like a lot. They're like evil librarians. I know. <laughs> I mean, it would be 98 cents at the library, but. And Blockbuster would be like 30 cents. And then if you like lost a video, it costs like 90 bucks for no reason. Yeah. Ugh. Well, because they don't have that rental power. They didn't yeah, get that. Yeah. Well, no. I. 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 I that's how it they is for very it good reason. I understand the financial reason, but I remember telling them, say, I could go to. I said I could go to, uh, you know, Target right now and buy the VHS or whatever store, and bring it to you for cheaper than what you want to charge me for a lost. Yeah. Lost thing. So. Blockbuster was such a disappointment because the movie you wanted was never there. It's not. True. I don't know, Jasmine. We like the weird stuff. So. <laughs> yeah, that's maybe that's true. why we started watching the weird stuff because that's all that's that was left. left. Well, there was that really good place we used to go to that was in Kansas City. What was that? That video rental that had, was like kind of by Westport, and it had all sorts. It had a big anime section, and like had all sorts of foreign movies and things. And where Westport? I think you went there with your family. I don't mm -hmm. know. It. I remember Cottons. I don't. Know uh, Katie Cotton. says I worked at Blockbuster from 2007 to 2013. Interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting time to work That's for back when you were the enemy, Katie. We could only be friends after that. <laughs> Blockbuster was such a... Oh, that, I already read that one. Always liked the idea of a video store. Love seeing all the titles, finding unknown unknown ones. Yeah. Just hated the process. I agree. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I wish agree. there were... I, I mean, I like... I love libraries, for example. I like the independent... Um, I like the independent video stores, like you Yeah, I think about. that's what I'm... Yeah. We had one in Celebration here. Yeah. Uh, then it went out of business. Yeah, which made sense by yeah. that time. <laughs> and I don't know if, if is GameFly still a thing, Brandon. GameFly the GameFly the Netflix through the yeah, kind of like a Netflix video, video game games. thing. I mean, how would they even that? How would that work now? It wouldn't work well with something like uh, the Switch or a lot of the ones. That right, because you just download games and, anymore. Yeah. Um, it's still a thing. Yeah. Huh. Well, I guess are there what consoles are out now that need a physical game in them there are uh brandon says there's still a lot of physical okay. games so i mean do they have switch there at gamefly yeah uh probably weird that's so odd yeah switch. hello what have i missed gosh foxy how do i go into this <laughs> Where do we you begin? missed an hour and 40 minutes of the most <laughs> riveting conversations and paintings really ever done we talked about old movie rental places <laughs> I uh, we gave away some prizes. I loved Hollywood Video. I preferred that to Blockbuster. 
I debuted the pin design for this month. I'm genuinely trying to think what I missed. <laughs> I like that pin. That's a nice one. MK Higgs says, when my daughter was little, she called it Buster Buster Video. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, I mean, that's that's a good name for it. I like it. I prefer, I prefer it, actually. But I guess a blockbuster is what you call a movie that does well. It t yeah. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, in the biz, in the, we call it not this. to use any jargon. Yeah, but. we're using jargon now, Jasmine. In the entertainment industry. It is currently 4.41 Eastern time here on the coast. That sound makes it sound cool. We're on the coast. We say we're on the coast. Checking out dolphins right Checking now. Checking out dolphins. <laughs> like I'm, I'm, I'm currently foot. riding yeah. a dolphin. I've actually got my left hand on its dorsal fin, and I'm waving at muscle men on the beach with playing volleyball with my right hand <laughs> and i can still do this jasmine's painting um i've actually built a set brandon is a local surfer yeah. and uh that's that's how we roll that's how we roll yep. you does know. jasmine do artist collaborations with local artists from the disney festival arts um they haven't asked me to yet so I don't know. I I have I'm actually working on pieces for the Festival of the Arts right now. So um, those have already been contracted. So at least for this coming festival, probably not unless they have me do it as like a live interaction thing. So I don't know. We'll, pop, we'll have to see. I'm just happy that the festival is far enough from now that I feel like they're probably not going to change it <laughs> because uh, after so many events, it's been hard to keep track of when they're really happening or what's really going on. Totally. Not it's anybody's fault, but just how it is. Oh, on the beach. What's happening? <laughs> yes. Oh. oh, I should have grabbed her when I was upstairs. I could fetch her. Yeah. She's probably got in her weird little blanket. She was when I was upstairs. If you, she, any of you guys follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I, she was under a blanket. Yeah, I post her right in a blanket. Now. She yeah. actually does that herself. She she will get under a blanket and it's it's really cute. I'm gonna let this dry. Actually, I'm gonna paint another drip drop of water on it. <laughs> so I've already I've already signed it to sign my little jasmine and put number one out of one and um, wrote twenty on it because it's 2020. And you write all the other uh, important information. I write on the all back. the other stuff on the back, like all the certification information. That way you can never lose it. I always like when I can, unless it's required by a different company or something. To put like the actual COA on written on the back of the real painting or the ACEO that way it won't ever get lost. You can't ever fake it. Maybe the right what, what was this? is that? One? <laughs> is that Gamera too? I did that for Angela. Oh okay. <laughs> she says I love Gam Gam. Oh. It's funny. I'm, we must have said that on camera before because, yeah. Camera. No. Yeah. Does it do this anymore? Is it on it? Okay. Hey, Sarah. Let me take my hair dryer real quick. Sorry if it's noisy. It wasn't that noisy. Of course, don't know, don't know how noisy yeah. it gets for other people. Where's that's she? true. The, yeah, that's she by is. the mic. She's just about all finished. Let's see. I can like move a light temporarily. It probably doesn't help. But I'm gonna let her dry a bit more off to the side, and then I'll start working on another one. Woohoo! ACEOs. ACEOs. Our friend Carmen called them Accios. Accios. Like Accio it's Harry Potter. Cards. Accio Pants. Sorry. <laughs> that's Alex's name on Instagram. Yeah, I think that's hilarious. Yeah. It's clever. It is clever. She's clever. I think Jasmine should add some color to her lips. To my lips? Yeah. I don't know. That's a personal decision. <laughs> I think she... I think Al Hertz meant the, the painting. 
Let's see. I don't know. On this one here, she's kind of got, um... It's more ruddy or pink than a natural skin. Oh, the ladybug girl this lips. One. Not the, you, Jasmine. Oh, not me. Yeah, I know. I'm showing the ladybug girl. Oh, okay. <laughs> Actually, her lips kind of look like mine, so whoever you're talking about already has a little bit of lipstick on. Oh. Let's see the other one. I'm going to look at... This is cute. This is uh, another one that was one of the mini commissions. So a lot of you guys haven't seen this yet. And this is um, kind of a steampunk themed one. They, they showed, pointed out some of my other paintings I'd done, like Windswept and um, some of the other steampunk series ones. And they liked that. And they also wanted it to look like with whatever hair color, etc. I like that gold balloon. reflection in her eyes. Yeah, it's a really nice one. That's pretty. That was fun little one to work on it's Mimi's in, in says oh, Ricky yes it's Mimi's and if she's in there hi Mimi but there's uh, Ricky said that oh, oh I don't okay. know, so I don't know if have seen Mimi's it. in here Mimi must have showed it off to people okay Ricky just knows awesome. stuff Ricky can just tell she's like oh that looks like a Mimi one <laughs> <laughs> put a little masking tape boom blob help can use the sticker for 28 24 hours is that is that one of the new feature things oh they can use a sticker. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't, I don't understand some of the incentivation on Twitch, but it's not for me, I guess. I just think it's cool how you can use stickers from other people's, or emojis or emoticons from other people's chats. Oh, yeah, um, like in your own chat. In, in other chats. In other people's I think patterns. that's cool. Yeah. It also shows up on my, um, like my iPhone. Like where emojis do? Yeah, I can oh. I can select yours specifically oh, I didn't or know any that. other does ones it, I've. Does it show up like in the area where like if you have the little witch or something or like how I have a little witch? I can show okay. you, um, where it's actually you, you click on. Do you know how to do animated gifs on your phone? Okay, well never mind. I'll show you later. <laughs> no, oh, see, I, like Heather's showing I hers. She's got this beautiful rainbow winged kitty. Like huh? Heather, right now, she has a beautiful rainbow winged kitty. Gamer. <laughs> Why don't I go over? She has kind of like a, a frothy sort of peasant pirate bow, brow, um, blouse on. Bustier. Bustier. Yeah. I'm painting some little lace, lace details on it. I kind of made it look like linen on the other one, on the original, so on this one I'm going to change it up a tiny bit. That way it never quite looks like exactly the same. Oh, you paint so much, Jasmine. I barely remember this one. I like yeah. frame them and stuff. Yeah, exactly. that's crazy. You would have seen at least one you framed it. That's, yeah, man. That, that's yeah. But they they it it's, earlier I, this year. it's because they're in and out. It it's summer. like you paint them and then boom, they're gone. Yeah, yeah. So well, you don't see the, all the back and forth of me asking and sending pictures and printing out pictures of people's kids and you know all the stuff. It's it's a pretty involved process for a tiny. All, and the original paintings are the size also, so they're they're little. You can see how much detail we put in this tiny little painting. It's, some some folks, if they want a custom, they'll say, well, okay, well and for many, and they're like, oh, can I put three people in there? I'm like, no, that would be just so small. Oh. There are people who are very good at painting miniatures, and I'm good at painting down to about two, two inches. Anything smaller than that, I kind of lose a lot of detail. Also, I like them to be larger so I can do prints. So stuff. Starwind says, with Pop Gallery gone, will you be doing any more pin sets for Disney? Oh, um, the only pin sets I've ever done have been for Pop Gallery as far as Disney. Yeah, they weren't so Disney characters. They weren't Disney. Thing. No, they weren't Disney characters. They were just my characters. Because Pop Gallery wasn't owned by Disney. It was just located at Disney. They, I don't know. I've heard they might be opening in a different location there. So I'll, that will all depend on what they're doing. So I'll definitely keep you posted as I know. If they're moving to a different spot, then yeah, it's a, totally it's very well. unsure yeah. right now. They what's also going on. own the Hoi Polloi Galleries in Chicago, and they have my pins there. So, and they'll be having a website too. So as soon as I know all that's happening, I'll let you know. In the meantime, we will be having a new. I don't have a printout of it yet. But we will be having a new mini mini metal pin set. What is it? Number five or six? Oh I'll, gosh, uh, uh, yeah. Well, I, don't, I think we've done number five. We so, did number five. So, so I think it'll be six. six. Okay. So we'll be doing the mini metal, the little square sets. So I'll be doing one of those um, in this either September or October. And I'll tell Patreon people ahead of time. So you guys will know in plenty of time advance. Because that's another one of those crazy things that sells out right away often. So 
I will keep you posted on that. Um, those will have a fall theme because they'll be out in the fall. Adding some highlights. Heather here. is sad about Pop Gallery. It's okay, Heather. Oh, it, I am sad too. If if they do re reopen somewhere else, I'll, I'll definitely I'll still be part of it. So, a lot of the shops at Disney are getting shuffled around too, so we don't really know what's going on. It, usually, the Disney shuffle would sound like a dance. Yeah. yeah. Probably something I might avoid. Will you be <laughs> selling ACOs on Strangeling website? Nope, that's an eBay. No, thing. they're on eBay. And we will um, put links up on uh, next Sunday. Yeah, this yeah this Sunday, just in a few days, I'll be done with these and I'll have them up on eBay and we'll have. Some I'll be up. sure to. Yeah. Oh, cool. Tammy put up a. Uh, actually, I rarely see people put up the little sticker. Um, that's the. Um, I'm trying to remember what the which one she is. Oh. Let's see. Uh, the Rose Fairy. Yeah, because oh, usually they have yeah. to like get a bigger membership for that. Yeah. But with the way Twitch has changed, you uh -huh. can do other things. Oh, so good. that's More cool. More people will see her now. Yay! Adding some color on you. I'm gonna hurt some lipstick. So I'm gonna put a little. And bit Tammy more says she messes us. Um, has Jasmine guys, done, gosh, done a steampunk inspired long. dragon strangeling? Oh yes, I have. Clockwork Dragonling is a very good one. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, a great one. That one's um, still hot. Yeah, I know. It's like that one's still a big seller. I did it for Dragon Con like years ago. I will uh I'll yeah. link that one because uh Yeah, if you haven't seen that one, and there, check there it was out. a pin once people. upon a time. There was a pin. It's it's kinda rare now. It is, yeah. Okay, pop that in. Oh, it's tier two for Rose. Oh, thank you, Tammy. You... So you actually got on the tier two. Cool. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Yeah, if you click on that big old link, I could have shortened the link, but mm -hmm. eh. Some... Hey, Wild Elf Fairy. Hey, Wild Elf Fairy. I know you. <laughs> or is it a surprise raffle time? Surprise raffle time, if you're thinking yeah. about the spinning wheel, is in an, about an hour. About an hour? So is it another raffle time now? Yeah. Um, in seven minutes or oh, so. Okay. I have it as ten minutes on my little timer, but gotcha. we'll do it in seven. Mm -hmm. Getting some little tiny details in her hair. Since she's kind of backlit with a sunset, there's and she's got kind of brown hair. Um, when brownish hair or dark hair is backlit, it usually gets kind of a red, almost fiery halo. And I always like painting characters who are backlit because it's kind of a different way to portray people. Oh, Jasmine, so sunset. Kaylee says, so no more local signatures. I think they mean signing events. And oh, tell them about oh, Wonderground. Yeah. What, what, oh, yeah. I, have, I still am at Wonderground Gallery at Disney Springs. It's, it's a short walk away also at Disney Springs. So I will be there. And would you do a variant of the Clockwork Fairy pin? Uh, let's see, Clockwork Fairy, uh, cl Clockwork Dragon pin? Yes, that's uh, what that's what they meant. I might yeah. do, yeah. I could see doing a variant of that one. I have the mold for it. Yeah. I'm trying to think how I what different colors I'd do. I would go with green and black. Green and black would be kind of cool. Those are my favorite colors. Um, hey, back off. Those are my color. Those are my skating colors. I know those are your skating colors, but they were also my favorite colors before I knew you. So they're my logo colors, Maddie. <laughs> magic the Gathering colors, Maddie. Yeah. They're my Magic the Gathering colors too. Okay. Can I not have anything? No. Okay. Hello, Matt. Could you get Jasmine to give my YouTube channel a shout out? Ah. I can't, I can't shout <laughs> It's it. Kieran. Oh, Kieran, yes. Yeah. So Sorry, I was doing a shout out. Kieran's world, and he edits yeah, I'll find it, videos Kieran. And, yeah, up on YouTube. Also, too, for those of you who watch my, um, who miss out on our broadcasts here, we I do export these to YouTube, and you can watch the archives going back to when I first started doing this. You can watch years of that up at YouTube. Usually it takes me about half a day or a day to export it and upload it and all that. So, like, tonight will pop up, probably tomorrow sometime. That's a good way to catch up on things. It doesn't have as high a resolution. I think it exports at, like, a lower it resolution. It doesn't. No. Best to watch 
on a broadcast, honestly. Yeah, but you will also here at Twitch, it has archives, and it keeps those for, I believe, two months, eight weeks-ish. Maybe it's two weeks. I don't even remember. But um, it has, it archives them at full quality here at Twitch, I believe, for two months or something. I think YouTube tries to keep YouTube, it streaming. Yeah, it streaming. compresses it so it streams faster. Yeah. I think. I don't know. But don't something. Know you know, I'm making excuses stuff. for the, I almost called them jerks. But jerks. I have nothing against YouTube. I don't know why I'd say that. I don't know. That's how, hey, someone said that Cobra Kai is on Netflix now. <laughs> Cobra Kai. It's a. Uh, it's a. It's from. It's a modern day Karate Kids. Uh, kids, and Johnny Lawrence when he grows up and oh. stuffs. I haven't seen it. So now it's on. Uh, was it on Netflix? It was. On, I. Was it on I subscribed to YouTube just to watch it. Oh, did you? Like, oh, or did a paid YouTube I didn't thing. Watch that one. But now it's yeah. on Netflix apparently. So I'm not sure how that works. I just know that a third season should hopefully be in the works. I don't know how they're going to do it, but I've seen season two as well. I don't know if season two is on Netflix, but it's good. If you guys are fans of 80s stuff and or Karate Kid and you like better writing than the Karate Kid but still want to see the characters doing stuff currently... I've only seen the Karate Kid once. I saw it with you when I first... When... Heather was mo- other Heather was right. Mo- it's basically has a good sound, you know, uh, lesson there. That's a growing but, up story too, kind of. But um, I like the Karate Kid world um, because martial arts means if you study martial arts for about which man man a week for a long time, and, so he likes no in in the Karate yeah. Kid. If you stu- study yeah. martial arts for about a week, uh-huh. suddenly you are basically a superhero. <laughs> if 17 guys come into the room, you can beat them all up because you've studied karate in their world for about five days. It's amazing. Sorry, that's me. Oh, you're welcome, Kieran. Thank you for sharing your greatness. You do amazing things. Have a great night. Thank you. You're welcome, Brock. Thank you very much. That's from J- uh, Jasmine, not not oh, me. You're welcome. Know. Oh, but, it's not yeah. for you, Maddie? No, no. Oh, okay. I give Cobra Kai a full endorsement of very worthy follow-up to the movies. Uh-huh. The first three, anyway. How many of them are there? Like, movies? There are, uh, well, there is a remake. Oh, okay. And there are four uh, movies that uh, st- star, like, Pat Morita, but yeah. three that uh, star Ralph Macchio. Oh. Karate Kids 1, 2, and 3, you're familiar with 3 because of Rift Tracks. Oh, yes. And Terry Silvers. There's Terry Silvers and his awful little hot tub. Yes, his, yes. his horrible little hot tub. It's, it's and a strange. Then there hot was. Uh, I love hot tubs. Then there's the next Karate Kid, which, um, oddly enough, uh, feet is uh, you know, a billion dollar baby. Yeah. Hillary Swank. Yeah. yeah, Hillary Swank is in it. Oh. As the next Karate Kid. Oh. And for some reason, guys want to beat her up all the time. I don't know, but she she gets him a good one. She gets him a good one in there. I I love Terry Silver. Oh, me too. He's he's so slimy. Hillary Swank is the next Karate Kid. That's the next Karate. Kid. I don't even think it's Karate Kid Four. I think it's the next Karate Kid, which uh, also stars Pat Morita, and I don't know. It's a it's good. I think Hillary Swank um, can. I think she does a good job with choreography. Yeah, uh, Billion Dollar yeah, Baby she, is fighting, phenomenal the choreography. choreography and Million Dollar Baby. Is so I wonder if she's amazing. had actually any combat previous combat she, training I, she in those must films. Have done. I know she had, she gained like twenty pounds of muscle or something crazy for that. That's too. so cool. Yeah, I know she looks great in that. Yeah, that's a good film. That's Clint Eastwood produced and directed it, I believe. Yeah. Uh, he's good in it. Um, I'm not the biggest Clint Eastwood fan, but in that one, he, I think he, he was really good. I like Play Misty for me. What's that? Play, Play Misty? Mi- yeah. Me. Well, I like the older Clint Eastwood stuff. Yeah, he's, he's just a weird yeah. It's kind of a weird I dude. I like all the San Francisco stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she is a good actress, I think. There's also the Jackie Chan version of The Karate Kid. Yeah, that is oh, a really? the remake I mentioned I earlier. Is that the 
So I think I covered everything. Oh. What's that? Oh, is that different than the Hillary sign? Yeah, that um, that's got a uh, Will Smith's kid in it. I didn't even Which see one? it. Which one? Like the boy one or the girl one or Jaden? Is I'm isn't it billion dollar baby or is it million dollar? I thought it was billion dollar baby. It's million dollar baby. You're Why am I saying of, because of Alice Cooper? Oh yeah, I am saying Parker billion you, because yeah. I'm wrong. <laughs> I bet you enjoyed me being wrong there, OG Wild Guess, right, Jasmine? You're yeah. welcome. You're you're welcome. You're welcome. You get to say I'm wrong. His sidekick Clyde, yes, we. I love the. They orangutan, but now that I grow older, I, I realize that, that it's a wrong thing to keep an orangutan. You shouldn't. Very, there are very few instances where I think it would be okay for somebody to have an orangutan as a pet. It would have to be like a, a sanctuary or something. There's a next Karate Kid game? Uh oh. Billion Dollar Baby is the sequel. Greater cash. <laughs> for, for, yes, Higher and Hillary Swink comes zero. back from the dead and she gains 300 pounds of muscle. Wow. I would to so make it even better, movie. 20 pounds of muscle. Patooey. I forget what it was exactly. I honestly it thought lot. it was and my micers, or my, my micers, my speakers or your mic. No, it's me. <laughs> it's me. Hello, Jasmine, Matt, Brandon, Hello. Twitchlings. Hi, April. Hi, April. Brandon says hi. hi Telekinetically. Hi. Oh. <laughs> he, he actually pushed me with his, with his telekinetic powers. His brain powers. Yep. No one should have an orangutan as a pet. I could promise you that. <laughs> oh, no, I, I don't I, think they should. I don't think it would ever be a pet. I'm trying to think of like some. There was an, an orphaned one, and somebody had to carry it around uh, to the nature. You know, I don't think that. Or, yeah, I don't think something. there's an origin story for Clyde from um, <laughs> any which way you can, any which way but loose. I've never watched. Um, but those he, ones. he's a. I've watched. What was? They seem to have a really good. Another one? Those are the ones. Okay. He seems to have a really good relationship with the orangutan. Yeah. And uh, it can punch people really hard. Well, that, is that having a good relationship? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Under his armpits. Raffle? Raffle? Under my armpit? Did I not start the raffle? Oh, shoot. Is it time for the Oh, it is. Oh. Thanks, Brandon, for reminding me there. Good job. Actually, I'm 22 seconds in the thing. <gasps> oh. If the timer's got... Yeah, but yes, I'll I'll go ahead and pick the winner. I want to see what happens when the timer goes up. Does it make a timer oh, okay. noise? There. Now let me pick the winner. There, I can pick the winner. Oh. Foxy Gamer 1992. Heck yeah, Foxy Gamer 1992. Oh, was that the magic noise? I, I don't know what that was. Is that the um noise that makes one? The I alarm don't goes know. Off? Well, you said the alarm was going off. Oh, that was that was the same. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Wow, I like it's that. It's like we live in the. Future. Okay, so I'm gonna set the t I'm gonna set the timer again. Okay, and I'll make that bling, bling, noise again, and I will send this little message. Look in the chat, Foxy Gamer. And this is for the print, right? This is for, oh, the, for pin. the pin. Oh, for the pin. Sorry. Yep, we've moved on, Jasmine. Hi, yeah. So have I. Let's... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. This is for the pin. Butterflies and bones. Our, was our August pin of the month. It is now. It still is the August pin of the month. It still is our August pin of the month, but it's no longer August. But you still get her because I was going to give it away on okay, Sunday. There are your instructions, Foxy Gamer 1992. And I'll sign the little pin back, too. And that's something else we need to get up on the website. We want to have um, the already signed little pin backing. So if you want one signed, since we're not doing conventions right now because of the COVID pandemic, um, that way you can get them shipped to you. That yeah, way. I just need to. I just, just need to, to set a million things. Well, of them see, Jasmine loves the signing website. things after it's signing things so even, much like, after a long that she day has to do it. Oh, signing stuff. I want yeah. to sign stuff. Did I miss oh, what the September pin is going to be? Yes, because you just came here, April. This is what will September pin look like. It is a pastel variant of my um, Milagros Corazon from my Dia de los Muertos series. I'm starting the next one now. And she'll be done in pastel colors like this. She's not quite finished. It's got like three more colors on that need to go with back. Oh, okay. But I'll show her as soon as we get her. And of course, those of you who are here in... Um, are already members at Patreon who are in the pin collector tier, you'll get her automatically this this month in September. And if you sign up this month, you'll be getting her 
Actually, if you sign up this month, you get her, you get the magic lanyard. And, well, it's not, I can't it's say it's magic. It's a magic lanyard. It takes you away to a magical it land. It does. I, okay, I legally can't call it magic, but but you never know. <laughs> Brandon okay. didn't want to listen to me say that. He took off his headphones. <laughs> It's like, I'm not going to listen to Matt say that crap. Just preemptive remove your headphones. He's like, nope. Sure. Um, and also the current we'll Patreon no, I'm done pin, with which is Albino Alligator Girl. So if you haven't joined Patreon, you'll get this pin. This will be a pin. It's not going to be a picture. Um, this pin and the Strangeling official current lanyard. These come out a few times a year. And you get the new lanyard, lanyards. You get the pins every month. And you get other new pins periodically when we have patreon yes so you get and you get all the other patreon stuff you get to look at the fancy other channel and all that so all right hey um maddie can you close that window on the um computer there for me if you don't mind it's making a big white thing oh uh just i just don't have a mouse or anything so i can't are you saying it's frozen no i'm not i'm saying that mcafee keeps poking up i think and covering the whole screen and it's I don't know if that's made it stop before, but it has happened right after it stopped before. Yeah, Say don't show don't again. Show again. Yeah. Oh gosh, Dear McAfee, will oh, you not we show again? Viruses, thank you very much. Yeah. I don't want McAfee involved in my demon merchant out that guy. There's a documentary about him I want to watch. Yeah, I don't want to watch it yet. I'll watch it. I'll watch it when I'm exercising. You huh? can do that. I'll watch it. I mean, it rain. It'll probably make hmm? you work harder because if I saw that guy on the screen, I'd probably want to push around a bunch of iron. Yeah. Ugh. McAfee. <laughs> like how it's like it was on every computer. Well, it's that one in Norton. Norton. And it won't Norton go away. Antivirus, yeah. And I, I'm an AVG guy. Yeah. This is an AVG household. Yeah. This is an AVG household, okay? Yes. You keep your Nortons and your McAfee's out, out of this house. Yeah. I don't appreciate it. No. I can't talk and do things at the same time, Jasmine. I know. I've known you for 20 some years. Who? Hmm? Anyway, back to the orangutan. Yes. The, uh, the old man about. of the forest. Yes. And also. I love that name, the old man of the also, forest. Also, there was a, the wild man of Borneo. Yeah. Those are the All two right. uh, the two nicknames slash monikers given to kind the of. beautiful orangutan. I, you know, I'm not even Googling this. I just know I know it. this too. Also, yes. in Florida, if um, if it is what people think it is, the um, skunk ape might be an orangutan. So. It's actually, I know him. You do? Yeah. He he bothers me. Is he a skunk the, ape? The, he's a skunk ape, yes. Mm. I think it's much more likely than the Sasquatch in Florida theory. Yeah, I have to buy him, like, soda pop at 7-Eleven to keep him going. Brandon? No, uh, oh, it's not Brandon. I do that sorry. with Brandon, too. <laughs> Brandon's not the skunk ape, though. Okay. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Brandon says he's hurt. Sorry. No, actually, he's hurt. He's bleeding. Oh, shoot. Well, yeah. Anyway. Boys are tough. A prize wheel giveaway. Okay, guys. Um, the prize wheel giveaway will happen. The prize wheel so cool. Now, April's <laughs> just came in the room, and oh. probably some of you others came in the room. Yeah. So, and you may have seen this elsewhere, but it's cool here, and it's new here, and it's, it's new to cool us. It's cool here, new here, and sometimes... Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to press the prize wheel, and it's theoretical. No one's winning the prize I'm about He's to show. He's just showing off the graph. I'm just showing right off the now. thing. We'll do the real one like in an hour or whatever. Yeah, is. in an hour or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so we can look at the thingy. Pretend it was Maddie who was doing it. <laughs> yes. Actually, I entered last week. Or, oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, you would have won a mini portrait pin set four. Oh, is that what it says? I'm yeah. sorry, I have, I have the delay. Wow, I have quite a delay. I just know. Yeah. Oh, now I see it. Huh? I'm seeing it now. The thing is, th they'll hear it way after I've actually seen it too. Uh -huh. So it sounds like I have double delay. <laughs> yeah. So I would have won that. Nice. nice. Hey, the early theoretical nice. person was going to get set three, weren't they? I want to win air. You want to win? Win air. air. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's air. I don't know. I can great. probably help you with that one. Yeah, I'll hook um, you up. I second. Tammy's mention, huh? I'm, I'm missing things. I don't Congrats. Know air. You guys chat too quick. 
Yeah, if you don't put Matt at Matthew in there, I usually lose Yeah, if you want you. him to read it, and then he'll read it to me because I can't. I don't see the chat screen. I I'm busy see the viewfinder. Making faces at Brandon and like talking to Jasmine and trying to talk to you guys and pressing buttons. Yeah. Yeah. Get me every time, man. I'm putting a bit more color in her hair. She just kind of had dark hair. This is a mini painting I did. Um, golly, I think I painted her for Megacon or maybe a Fairycon. I don't remember. But she was a little painting. She might have just been from my website for the Patreon people. Yeah. Anyway, she was a cute little mini painting, and I hadn't done prints or anything of her, so I thought I'd make the ACO for this little lovely. Oh yeah, she's great. She had dark she's hair. cute. She's got kind of, I don't know how well it shows up on the screen, but she's kind of got almost a little fire in her eye. It starts off with um, a bit of yellow and turns into orange and turns into red and turns into kind of violet. And I'm kind of reflecting that in her hair also. Oh, that's amazing, Jazz. It's like a beautiful sunset or something. Yeah. Bye, Crispy. You got to go to work now. Wow. You got to go to work now, dude. I'm sorry, do? Crispy. Hey, thank you for sending those photos. Um... I, haven't, I still haven't seen those show up in Slideshow yet. No. We'll check on that. I'm sure we'll get a bunch for next week. Okay. Too, so. We can move those in. Or maybe I just haven't been paying attention. How many... I wonder how many... Maybe we just have so many um, photos so many of our photos. own that we had in there before mm -hmm. that they just don't come up. Is it random? Or? I thought it was random. We, it is random? Huh. I think this might have um, stopped again with... Oh, you think? Yeah, it looks like it did. Is it frozen? I'll come fix it. Mm -hmm. A little bit more red in there. Looking some red. Paint on some eyeballs. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of violet. Also put a little tiny bit of violet around her, the inner kind of tear duct of her eye, as if she had really fancy makeup. I think I don't know what makeup is fancy. Okay, I think it's good enough. Yeah, it is. Is it working? Yep. Yeah, I know how to fix it now. Thank you. Oh, it? really? So yeah. If it happened well, again, um, yeah, and Brandon happened, weren't yeah. like, Brandon you know. showed me. I think I've got okay. it now. Cool. Brandon's like, yeah. <laughs> I pay Brandon in um, egg salad sandwiches. Oh God. From Seven Eleven. And there's nothing grosser than an egg salad sandwich. Mm. I yeah I. I once had a, Maybe a turtle egg I, I once had an egg salad sandwich from 7-Eleven and, and a beer and it made me really sick. Uh, oh god. And, uh, isn't that a, <laughs> I'm trying to think in Futurama isn't that when Fry gets those worms he gets it from eating a probably gas station egg salad sandwich doesn't it, he? Yeah, don't like, don't literally. compare me to him. Uh, you are an awful lot like Fry from I'm not. Time. Really? I don't think I am. Okay. You say that you are sometimes. Well, sometimes I've said that like exact same exact thing. Exact same has, things at the exact same yeah, time. That's yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we have a. Let's see. We have about four. We we'll go over a little bit. We have about oh. I don't know about fifty minutes left of broadcast, and right now Jasmine's working on ACEOs, and she will have these up on eBay mm -hmm. on Sunday, and we'll yeah. put links up on eBay if you want to come back and. Yeah, See the or links? if you just watch us on Sunday, we'll post the links then. Slurm. Slurm. I like, like, I like Futurama. Yeah. Um, Brandon, you like Futurama, cartoons. right? But it's Logan's. <laughs> Logan likes it more or something. I like Logan's his little brother. My brother is a huge fan of it. Uh -huh. I definitely think I like the Simpsons more. You like the Simpsons more? I think so, yeah. Interesting. Well, that's funny. Um, that's good show. A lot of people wouldn't say that. They'd say it the other way around. Really? Of course. I, I, I think most people... Probably I wonder if it's because like I watched The Simpsons, Simpsons first and then yeah. Futurama came. I think it's just because I have a. Uh, um, most of like what I've uh, consumed outside of comedy is like action and sci fi stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, when I'm watching comedies, I first up like Simpsons and Bob's Burgers. 
Okay. Yeah. I like Bob's Burgers, I too. I love Bob's Burgers. That's a good one. I love Rick and Morty, though. That's hard to beat. Definitely. Yeah. That's good stuff. That's some of the best TV out there. Yeah, I didn't, for the longest time, before I, um, gosh, it was, I think, in December when I started watching Rick and Morty, I thought it was for little kids. <laughs> I didn't not. know. <laughs> it's really not. Why well, I, I had saw, seen part of it at, uh, gosh, I think we're at Dragon Con. Yeah, and I'd seen part of it, and I was like, "Man, this this show's so loud." It's like this guy does not video. control his volume. Yeah, like he's like, ah, ah, ah. and I was like, ah, and he's just yelling at this kid. He's like really giving him the business. And I was like, I don't know about this. And <laughs> it's like, oh, it's Morty yeah, it's business. it's hilarious when he abuses Morty. Yeah, yay. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get the dynamic all right, so you don't think it's about child abuse. Gas station sushi. Abuse. Ooh. Gas station sushi. Ooh. How about <sighs> gas station sushi like in Iowa? Yeah, you know, I, that's I watched Solar Opposites a couple times through. Oh, yeah, that was cute. Brandon right? likes that one quite Solar a bit. Solar episodes are yeah. cute. Yeah. I'm uh, happy that they're going to make more. I'm, on his, I'm in his camp where um, I really, really like the, the sub story, the wall people. Oh, and on Solar Opposites? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's pretty brilliant. It's also, I think, a little bit more in the PG zone. Yeah, Versus I think Rick and Morty's is. more in the R zone. Yeah. Um, well, like, yeah. For people who who have kids that are older, but they don't want them to watch Rick and Morty, but Solar Opposites has some of the same fundamentals, for lack of a better term. Yeah. Well, it's got Justin it, Roiland. I, I, oh, yeah, it does have some messed up stuff with the, has, the principal, yeah. the principal don't and the teacher. Don't ask us about things that, what are appropriate for children. We don't oh, have gore? kids. Oh, yeah. gore? We have no... Yeah, see, the thing is, I remember, my, I remember growing up, and it seemed like my parents were protected me like more against nudity than they did against violence yeah it's like oh, well you don't care if you watch this violent horror horror film i'm like okay so i've seen a bunch of weird stuff and yeah as a kid my family yeah they didn't want us watching on the thing that was r-rated or whatever that's so funny yeah i know i don't I'm get trying that, to figure that out so didn't care about so much but uh, fun. whatever it seemed important to them at the time i like future and long I'm a lot, but people think that my name is spelt the same as Leela, but it's is not. Leela, I was going to say, is Leela saying that? Yeah. Well, that's part of the reason I can always remember now that it's that she's a Leela. Is right, instead I of Leela. In Futurama, so. Don't, Leela in the room, guys, everyone but Leela listening. Yeah. It's Leela, Leela not Layla. not Layla. And she'll scratch a, a new one because she has these, like, wicked she's long two-inch fingernails. And she'll scratch your eyes out if you say Layla. And for that reason, she doesn't like uh, what's his name from Cream. I already made that joke. And oh, okay. I know what his name is, so. Oh, fine. And I knew that it was Patty Harrison's nickname. Ooh. I didn't mention that. After she was with George Harrison. Oh my gosh. I know. It's scandal. so scandalous. They, these rock stars that only <laughs> knew five people in the 70s. I know. Like, wow, you must have a really huge pool of who you're picking from. Yeah. It's like, I want to go out with... Hmm. It's like Fleetwood Mac. It's like, it it's who like, am well, I going to marry? I um, somebody in the <laughs> band. I guess I'll marry that other okay, girl. You know the or... same people. Yeah, quit marrying each other, Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> no, keep doing it. I'm sorry, I like to keep all these jokes current. I love... So. Well, hey, you know what? Right? More people are interested in that right now, or kind of like, well, within a year or so ago, because of the um, book um, Daisy Jones and the Six. I forget the author's name. I don't know. It's a kind of fictional. It's very good, and it, it doesn't sound good if you describe it, so it, it almost isn't worth telling the people about. <laughs> but if you like, like, um, books about like groupies from the 70s eras and bands from the 70s era, sort of weird story road trip story thing yeah it's good and it's loosely based on fleetwood mac it's not anybody in specific but you're like oh that's probably the stevie you know that sort of thing so that mm. I, I think it's interesting so is it kind of like a but it's almost a, famous kind of yeah i would put it in that same category yeah almost famous is one of those films i think <laughs> jasmine are you on camera or are you just painting below camera what do you mean Oh shoot! You mean the um the little yeah? I, I, I can't don't know. see if you're. I probably moved. I can't. It. Okay. Or is it? Did it go out again? I hope. I think it's see. frozen again. No, I think it's, it's not frozen. Nope. Yo, you're out of camera. I think I was just off I, camera. I, oh, okay. I'm not good at seeing. You. That's okay. Right. Old jokes always work. Yeah. 
Hmm. I don't know what to think about that. I, I think Old it's a, jokes I think always it's a work. good response to people that you don't want to laugh at their joke. That's why we only hire old jokes. Yes. Local jerks get local jokes get local work. <laughs> wow. I don't even know why I said wow. Because you're amazed. I'm drinking this AHA sparkling water. It has 30 milligrams of caffeine in it. Yeah. That sounds like a lot of milligrams of caffeine, but what does the average Coke have? 150. Oh, so I have to drink five of these before I'd have yeah. a Coke amount? Uh -huh. Well, I figured out that you'd have to drink six of those cans of AHA to have one of my Disney cups of regular coffee. Of your Bustello, rather. Oh, okay. So you could have a whole six-pack of AHA for the same caffeine that's like in a big cup of coffee. Hey, Aunt Jasmine, Uncle Matt, it's Lexi. Oh, hey, Lexi. Lexi, honey. Lexi oh got swag. All right. What a, that's a fancy name. I've been trying to watch yeah. her live, but I could not figure out how oh. to get into my old Twitch account. Oh, no. Finally figured it out. Just wanted to say I love you and miss you guys. Oh, honey, oh. I miss hey, you Lexi. so much. I haven't seen any of you forever. Yeah, we'll go back to New Gosh. York sometime. Yes. Oh, Jasmine, show your Hamilton York. cup. Yeah. We were with Lexi, Lexi when we got this. I was, I was with Lexi when I got it. Lexi, I have my Hamilton cup. It doesn't have wine in it, though. It's got green smoothie. That was like the funnest time ever. That was so fun. Oh, there. Millie says, aha, coffee flavor seltzer is good. Yeah, that's the one I like. They're always out of it at the store, though. The jerks. This was another little, one of the paintings that I did for um, Patreon that was a, how I put minis up and I let Patreon members purchase them and tell me how to finish them. It was, it was fun. But man, I did not expect that many people to be excited about it. I should know by now. Sometimes people get excited about stuff and we're like, oh, oh, yeah. oh, Well, sometimes oh. I'll do something random and it's like, wow, I didn't expect that. Or I'll do something cool and everybody's like, eh, eh. It's like you're swinging the bat too hard, or you swing it really soft, and it like you knocked it out of the park. Yeah. You never, never know. If, if you think about it too much, you go insane. That's why you have to do it for yourself in the end. Of course. That's always advice I give really to people who paint. If you don't enjoy what you're painting, it won't make you very happy. Is it sad that I'd use a time machine to go back and try original Coke, the one with actual cocaine in it? Yeah, that's oh, pretty I, sad, OG. It's yeah. not sad at all that's, that you want to time sad. travel to get your drugs. <laughs> I would just say, um, you know. No, I uh, think that would be awesome. I would totally Actually, I'm, I'm not going to. I can't give any drug advice. I'm sorry. No, I, no. If I would, I would go. But back in time, that would have been legal and that would have been a regular thing to do. Oh, yeah. Well, sure. It's like, yeah. a, would you go back in Prohibition and drink a beer? I mean, it would have been illegal then. And only if I could talk like this and go to a speakeasy. I think I think you kind of had to. Yeah. <laughs> as far as I can tell. Bring me around Hollywood. I think I'd be a rum runner. Probably. Or I'd probably be a moonshiner. Yeah. As long as it ends in er. I, I, I like all the alchemy equipment that goes with that, but I don't like... I, I'm afraid of stills blowing up. I'm always afraid, like, my dad, if he's got a moonshine still or something, that would just blow up. I don't know. Not that my dad brews moonshine, I think. No, no, he, it's just, he makes other things, like wine. Well, that's not moonshine, though. No, that's not moonshine. Yeah, and it's legal. No, I was talking about it still. But yeah. That, yeah, it's legal. To, you can make in Missouri, you can make how many, 125 gallons of wine, homemade wine per year, where they had them to pay. The, per person. Um, Per person. Yeah, per person. That's a lot of wine. So what you do is you just have a bunch of babies. Yes. And for each baby you have, you can make 125 and gallons of wine. Without having to pay um, tax on it. Liquor tax. So. Right. See, I know math. Well, that's one of those things about Missouri that I kind of like about Missouri. That's probably a libertarian slant, but it's um, I like that you could brew your own wine without having to pay taxes if you grow the grapes on your own land and stuff. It seems weird that the government needs to be involved with that, but I don't know. The government. What do I know about knowing yeah. things? Go back in time when, s then skip over 2020 when you return. MK Higgs said, "How do you know? How do you know it's going to be better? How do you know there's going to be anything? A would prize you go back wheel in time? Okay, would you go back in time to um, what is it? Seven Up was lithium. It was just like straight lithium, and it had all it had something in it too. So it wasn't straight lithium. It had cocaine in it also, didn't it? No, I don't. Wow. It was called Seven Up because it's supposed to cheer you up." And that had lithium in it. 
Yeah, it's amazing yeah. that they can change the recipe on us like that. Still yeah, call it the same like, thing. Oh, Pepsi's got a different sweetener in it. I'm like, you know, Coke used to have cocaine in it, you know? I consider my puppies to be people. Would they count for extra gallons? Yes. Probably for every that, gallon. Probably in Missouri. You know. Yeah, for every I'm 125 Missouri, gallons, it counts as 725 gallons okay. in dog drinks. Ah. Is yes. It, is that, would Chihuahuas and like Great Danes get the same? Yes. Oh. My dad's got Great Danes. Yes. <laughs> if I could travel back in time, I would take a photo of Jack the Ripper. Okay. I'd be more curious of who he was. Than I think I'd. Like, uh, yeah, you, you'd have to find him. You'd have to find him. And I guess you could even, go. Nobody did that, but I guess if you went back in time, you could try to use things like DNA or something. But you'd have to carry all the machinery with you. Yes, and he's not at White Castle like some people think. <laughs> no. White Castle. <laughs> 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 yeah but yeah we we'd all use time travel for something inane apparently yeah i would go i would time travel it, this is kind of sad I, i'd time travel and try to go back before like world war ii and look at a lot of the paintings got blown up because so many of them we only have black and white reproductions of and i wonder what some of them look like in color if I could travel back in time, I'd like to meet E.A. Poe. I bet it would... He seems like he would be a fun person to hang out I think with it sometimes. Would... The... Okay, so, so, I, I know what you're saying, Angela, but then I think of the people that that, are, that, are that like I've met that sometimes that, have, that yeah. have produced fantastic things that I love, yeah. and I'm like, oh, okay, I realize that I kind of like the stuff you make, but hanging out with you is kind of... I mean, is all right, but it's kind of weird after a while. And it it's... You may not, you may not like them as a person, but you like the stuff they can create. Thanks, Maddie. What's that? I said thanks, Maddie. No, not not. That's not what I'm talking about. I've I met a lot of people that create things, writers, etc. And yeah, I mean they're just people in the end, but they're uh, the things they create can be uh, wonderful. It's like, oh, I'm hey Stephen King. After a while, it's like I'm gonna go back to the room and read one of your books rather than hang out and talk about whatever. Yeah. Like you want to talk about your dog for an hour, you know? Gun control or something. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't want to have that conversation with Stephen King. Just don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think, but he talks about libraries a lot. Yeah, I can I can get on board. At least it's related. Yeah. Yeah, if if he was if he was teaching something or yeah. if it was related to well, he what he did, that that can make all the difference. Well, George R. R. Martin were doing that was in Albuquerque when we were there last, and they were just in there like the week before we were there. Oh, I don't know. George R. R. Martin and Stephen King were both there, like to give a talk. Yeah, I, it's like wow, that would have been fun to sit in on. Uh, Angela says, "Jasmine, you're so different. We love you and Matt." Thank you. Yeah, we trick some people. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. I love tricking people. Sorry, Brina, we don't know you all that well yet, <laughs> Angela. But you did meet him, right, Angela? At um, you saw him She's at Dragon. Met Dragon Con, right? Brandon is good. Yeah, Brand- Brandon's good. You're on the same No, no, I, 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 I talk about you quite a bit. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I was like, yeah, Brandon likes that. You know, it's like you're my. Brandon's like my. Uh, He's my person I talk to about, like, what's currently cool in the nerd, like, <laughs> currently cool in the nerd world. Yeah. So. But, yeah. OG says, different from what? Yeah, what did you mean exactly? Did you hear about your, did you hear back about your pin? Oh, okay. We did get a chance to meet him. Missing the fact that the fact the Lacey and I don't get to see you guys at Dragon Con. Aww. No photo this year. I'm sorry. Shoot. I know. We see you every year. No AS art. Um, I'm trying to... I'm not sure if I... I no, oh, no pho. Oh. What's her? No pho this year. Oh, okay. Oh, Aww. gosh. Oh, yeah. You guys went out for pho after when I had to fly okay. early. Alex. Okay. Alex. Duh. Lacey. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, okay. sorry, I didn't know it was you, Alex. You gotta oh. spell this stuff out. Uh, what a jerk. Hey. He is a jerk, though. He'll, I'll be trying to do, you know, I'll be, Alex like, tending to 900 good. people in front of our booth, and he'll come behind me and, like, pinch me and stuff. Like, ah! Like, well, like, like scream. When he's trying to do something, he'll say, like, rude jokes from South Park or something. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, he's he's cool. He is cool. He's a cool we've guy. We've known them a long time. For, we've known them forever. Yeah. Like, Shoot. almost since we've been here in Florida. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, ASA Art 21 is cool, guys. Yes. Local Florida guy. And Bianca's a local Florida girl. Yes. And ASA Art has a lovely wife who does belly dance. And yes. she's super cool. She's super and cool. And she's neat. And they're a lot of fun to talk to. She has is and she has a tattoo on her back that Alex did of my poppy fairy that is one of the best ones I've seen. Oh, you stream, um, Alex? That's cool. See, I don't oh, yeah. man, I need to get up there and watch my friends more. Yeah. <laughs> I suck. That is too cool. Hey, he was doing some neat woodwork stuff, Jasmine. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh, you just raided us. I, I suck. We well, thank us, you for yeah. raiding us. Thank you for raiding us. We like the rate. Oh, with a party 15. Thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm Jasmine, by that the way. Rocks. If you haven't met me before. And then here I am, like, making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's a jerk. A now you're being mean and talking about what a jerk he is. That's just great. Heather says Florida artists are the best. Do you know these guys, uh, Heather? Do you know Alex? She probably knows them. And Bianca? She doesn't know she knows them. Just from being at shows. You've, you've, you've all been at the same shows. Many times, yeah. You're not a jerk. <laughs> not compared to Maddie. But that pho was good. Uh, I think it was called, was it What the Pho? It was down the street. It was a uh, Dragon Con. And it you remember that, Alex, don't and you? It was after I had yeah. to fly back. Brandon early, remembers so you, Alex. He's like, that was that really, really good looking guy. Oh, it's it's Fu King. Ah, oh, I see. Got yeah, it's not what the fuck. It's Fu King. Yeah, I, see. I have to have a pause in between there. You do. Maybe I need to see a face. <laughs> oh, let me describe Alex. Um, he's, I think he's, okay, imagine a younger, more trimmed beard, Brian Blessed, but way younger. Uh-huh. Um, he's got those, uh, funny earring things. Well, I forget what the, they're called. The, the, yeah. Um, the large gauge earrings. L large, yeah, he's got cool things. He's that got a too. nose ring. Yeah. And he looks like he's... Tans he looks like he's kind. He looks like he's a. Uh, I mean, he looks like, like he's a badass. Yeah. But he's. It's like, he a, like it's a front. The, yeah. He looks like. I mean, he is a badass, but it's like a front. Yeah. It's like, it's like a ha. Don't don't give away his secret, yeah. man. No. And he's and another place was called for real. That's way better. For real. real. Is, at least you can say it. Around Wait, is Bar easy. Barracuda Girl Lacey? <laughs> now I'm confused. Are I don't all know you who all you are. are friends and we don't know. <laughs> Okay, well, she's turning out pretty. And, I'm actually going to do some more. And uh, Bianca later. is, uh, I don't know, Bianca is another artist, and she does a cute little monster, so that's what she's mostly known for that I can she remember. Forgive stuff. me yeah. if I'm wrong, Bianca, but that's what a lot of people know you for. Yeah. I do need a spreadsheet. And she's hang, and she hangs out with my friend Alethea, if you know Alethea. She's a writer. Alethea. And she's a writer. Yeah. She's actually... Kicks ass She's actually in that like a department. Well writer. Monsters and nonsense. Uh, basically, uh, Bianca's almost always sketching. Yeah, she's one of those it's like, people that always is right. It's like, oh, you guys can talk whatever. I'm just going to sit in the corner and sketch. And it's like, is Bianca still there? Oh, yeah, she's over there. She's still sketching. Oh, this, I want to show you these ones. These but Heather's is super cool, guys. You should know Heather. Yeah. Well, we'll, ha we'll have her on our show. We yeah. Should, we should, we'll have, we've got lots of art friends. We should have lots of people on our show. Yeah, I think we should we should try to have as many local people yeah, first. Yeah, a lot of Florida people. Bianca does the cute monsters, absolutely. And she was at Pitt Gallery that also closed. Yeah, that was the one that was at Universal. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. It's a hard time right now for 
You guys should stores. do a local Florida artist show. Oh, there's enough talent for sure. I know. We should open a gallery and put it at Disney or City Walk. <laughs> <laughs> should. Yeah. These are funny ACEOs. I finally got around to making these of my um of the artwork paintings I did for the pins, like the actual paintings I do for the pin designs because I'm old school about things and I'm not good at Photoshop. Um, so I have the paintings of them, scanned them in, already sold the paintings off, so now I'm making one ACO or each one. These would be kind of cool. I like it when I have an ACO of like the pin design and then somebody frames it like with the, like the actual pin with it. This one might be hard because it's a hard pin to get, but I always think that's cool. Oh, someone said Teratoff rules. Yay. Yeah, yeah, if you guys know what Teratoff is, then you guys know Heather. That's Heather in her awesome world and her branding. Yes. Hopefully I didn't sound too businessy. <laughs> but yeah, Heather is an artist world builder. I, that's how I describe her. Yes, because she writes and has stories behind everything too. It's not like me when I'm just like, oh, I don't know. I'm feeling It's like, what's the right? story behind this, Jasmine? Yeah. Well, and Jasmine's like, it's... Like, don't ask me for <laughs> stories. I'm not a writer. <laughs> or I can pull the trick and say, I always like the viewer to decide for themselves. Say it with a spacey look. I tried to. I'm oh, I, I'll have to see it. Why does this look like I'm going to bite people? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bite. Does your little strap keep falling down your arm? Yes. I'm oh, okay. Sorry. It's kind of cute. <laughs> it smells like Tom Sawyer or something. Oh, uh, bye, Alex. Bye, Alex. Oh, he says, love you guys. In. Have a great stream. Uh, hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> see you on the flip side. How is my writing going, Heather asked. Uh, it's go Actually, it's going pretty slow. I, I think that the current situation kind of put me in a funk for a while i'm bouncing back though and um i've actually have a, a new thing going on that uh i'm sure i'll i'll show you it's it's a uh, it's interesting yeah. so I, th I think you'll like it it's it's storytelling as well yeah so you'll see i would love to do another show with you guys do you remember clouds we absolutely remember clouds oh so we were talking gosh, about that, that the other the day uh bianca I did a show hey. yeah i remember Shoot, I remember we up. were smart enough to bring extra champagne. Yes, we had it hidden in the car just in case. That was, yeah. that was a fun time. That, that was, was a billion Alchemy years ago. Show. Yeah. That was cool. Oh, that would be great. You know, if we don't have, if Pop is doesn't have a um, one opening up, that might that might always be an option for local things too. You know, cloud space. <laughs> sure. I ain't picky. That was fun. That, that was. Yeah, that was that was a. That was a crazy experience. I remember Michael was there too. Yeah. yeah. Odd Sarah was so funny. You remember what I'm talking about. Yes, but I do. You don't have to say anything. That was so funny. Yeah. I won't say it, but it was don't. So funny. My God, that was funny. I can shut up sometimes. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think that they would probably do great streaming. You know, I think Michael followed me up here. I don't know if they have a channel. Oh, okay. Well, but, yeah. That'd be cool. Those are more local They're people. Great guests they have too. That was my first pin. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Wow. Oh, wow. Really. That's an well. That's an I older think it one. Stopped again. <laughs> I think that my my um. Oh. One of them stopped. It yeah. stopped. Okay. I think it's the um this one. Yeah. I wonder why it's that one that does it. I don't know. Is it because it is it getting overloaded because it's higher? Could be. Ram. But at least it's a quick okay. fix. Okay. Yeah. At least I can tell from here if I can see my hand moving. And I'll totally show you how to do it too. Okay. If I'm not here and you're, you're doing yeah. other things. Yeah. It's I might not hard. know those often, you know? Because I won't have anybody checking on it. Hey, Brandon. It made me switch hands. Yeah, made her switch hands. No, it's backwards again. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, if you can see how Brandon flips well, it back the yeah, other I'm way. I'm not sure how that works either. Can you just drag the boxes it, and flip it over? It really this is right. Well, now it's right. It's right. It's weird. It wasn't before, I promise. Well, we probably just did this like in the beginning. Oh, okay. All right. Yay. Awesome. Good. Can you I'll make it big again, please? What's that? Can you please enlarge it again for yeah. me so it shows on my monitor? Enlarge it. And biggin. There we go. Yeah, a lot of people don't. This is not a pin a lot of people have. I think it's. I think there's like a hundred or yeah, no, just. Yeah, gosh, I keep thinking about Dragon Con, and I guess it's because it's because it would be literally happening right now, wouldn't it? Yeah, Brandon and I are like, oh, oh, wow. darn! I, shucks, we didn't have to do all that unloading <laughs> and loading. Man, gosh, I feel like I yeah. Feel like you can't Ooh, that. man. I feel like I should just go in the backyard and lift that tree out of the ground and, you know, that would be 700 times easier than doing Dragon Con. Hey. It is a, I will say it, it's really satisfying um, when everything is up. Yeah, when everything's like done. Up, actually. By the time we get there and we've driven all the way up there and everything, it's good, you know. But man, Breakdown was so funny. Uh, we were talking to your friend Carrie and we're like, my gosh, how do we get all this back? And we like had to walk these pieces back and oh. we realized that we should bring more hand trucks. Yeah. And uh, we think uh, we got it. Like like uh, next year, we think we'll have it done even quicker. Excellent. Is the camera on the pal? Oh, it's, we already fixed it. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Brian's got a funny name. It's Brian, not Brain. <laughs> Yeah. You can't do that joke with mind. Matt, not math? No. Uh, Damien, not I am mind? Hmm. Well, that doesn't quite work. My name is terrible for anagrams, which sucks because I love anagrams. <laughs> I know I'm very Maybe that's boring. why you like yes. it. Maybe that's why you like it. Maybe, because a lot of people have really good ones. I'll help you load in and out if it gets me staff passes any year you want. I have logistic experience. I'll, I ah. I think we're good. Yeah, we we usually have um, family members or Brandon for Dragon. Yeah, usually. Yeah, usually. Yeah, my nephew and everything. usually hired help. Yeah, hired help. <laughs> you are a bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're there to look intimidating, like, yeah, just kind of growl at people. They're there to look, yeah. It's like, Brandon, I don't even want them to come. Just growl at them until they go away. If I growled at anyone at Dragon Con, I apologize. <laughs> you didn't growl. <laughs> yeah, the most you did was direct in a direct the line in a um, very vocal way, and I appreciated it. But sometimes it needs to be. That's or when I control as, or one I always have to say West not West. Oh, oh I see. Um, brain, Brian, not Brain. West the best. We's the best. We's, we's the best. The best. <laughs> we's the best. Uh, the only thing I always have to tell people, including family members, is that Beckett has one T. Nobody ever knew. Moobot doesn't do the enter the raffle notifications anymore. Nope. That's because it's now cloud. It says it right in the room. Yeah. Um. That's because if I ran that, then I'd have two raffles going. Yeah. <laughs> and I can't have that. No, the raffles done via Cloudbot, and Moobot does other stuff now. So if you're used to the old system where Moobot did the prizes, now Cloudbot yeah. does the prizes, yeah. and Moobot does other stuff. <laughs> I don't know about no one's. These ones I don't put as much painting on because I want to still keep them looking like the pin designs. Right. Yeah. yeah, there's a beautiful simplicity to them. Yeah. I know some people think they're like animation cells, and I'm like, no, it's actually a pin design. I actually paint it out with paint. <laughs> it's pretty. And then they scan it and make metal out of it. It's pretty cool. But here's the, um, um, it's locked up again. Really? Yep. I won't lie. I promise I never ah! will. I don't want to pretend that the screen's locked up. This computer's new. 
I know, yeah, it's, it's brand new. It's a good little computer. It's brand new and it's a good computer. Oh, no, Except the apparently it's not. Awesome. Yeah, it's a good cram camera, it's very good. Yeah, so what up? I think it's from the bedroom upstairs, but I've got a bunch of cat hair in my nose. Cat hair? In my nose, yeah. Ugh. I know, it makes me feel itchy. I can do that. Mm-hmm. This is little alligator girl. She's famous as a pin because she was our first pin. And probably one of the hardest to find ones, I think. Let's see if that works. Yeah, I think so. Yay! Hey. Yeah, maybe um I should have this. What I think I might Maybe we should try to figure out how a way to have this computer closer to me. Yeah. And I can do that right away. Yeah. Because I, I don't um, look, I can't, I can't look up at the screen. And then have paint. a slightly different setup during the week with you. Yeah. And I could, because I could even I could just watch it on, watch on there. Watch I could this. even have it on my phone. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I do not know. Yeah, it's doing, I mean, it did it Is once last time. Now it's doing it a few times this time, so. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure. It could be an OBS issue, too. Mm -hmm. I must listen and watch on phone and comment on chat. LOL, but I overcome. Wow, ah, that's a lot. <laughs> Moobot is grazing. Yeah. A grazing maze. How sweet the... Moo? Yeah. That saved a cow like me. That one's getting away from me, love. <laughs> Would Jasmine ever consider doing a teacher fairy pin or a mail carrier fairy pin? Uh, asks that, not that one lady. That's very niche. I think I 17 I, people would I like it. I was going to say, I have a lot of teachers in my family. My sisters are teachers. Um, I don't know. I have had, I think there's like a couple of ones that are like Hamilton Collection statues that are for teachers. I could be wrong. That might have just been a product that we worked on that didn't turn into anything. I think there's one of, the, is there one of the calendar ones that is supposed to be a teacher? And she's got like glasses for some reason and is holding books and an apple. I don't, uh, I don't know maybe if it has any bearing on how teachers are at all nowadays, but um, a teacher yeah, I don't know pin. How, I would, how would I show a teacher? People are liking the teacher pin in the room. Okay. Uh, I mean, maybe it, I will. Yeah. What are what are things that are iconic? Yeah. What, well, people talk about Apple, bringing apples. Chalkboard yeah, chalk behind her. Chalkboards. Yeah. Chalkboard books. Hmm. That's what I think of when I think of teacher. I Tied know, back I hair, glasses. Think about teachers, but I think about specific teachers usually. Um, but really now it's just, you know, uh, she's holding the iPad and she has a bottle of gin in the drawer. Yeah. Yeah, that's, and, that's and the modern teacher. And she has to work teacher. at home because of COVID. Yeah. yeah. I think this has been asked, but going to ask anyway. Has sure. Jasmine thought of doing the Strangeling logo as a pin? Yes. Angela, yeah, uh, it's like... Yes. That Nintendo guy won't leave us alone. Yeah, no, it. we definitely will. We're just like, shut up, Jason. Out a good That's what way I want to say. Do it. Yeah. I, well, I, I want to make it something that is makes it special. Like there's uh -oh. not a billion of them. Your but... browser encountered an error while decoding the video. Oh no. Is that everybody? Is, is that, that you too? Me too. Right is that me? Uh, refresh your page. Oh, refresh my page. I'm gonna lose chat. That's okay. Okay. I don't know. Is mine doing that too? No. You're... No, that's me. Okay. <laughs> It just yours? Okay. Yeah, we're good, Jasmine. Right. It's just my own dumb thing. That's weird. I've never seen that before. That was hilarious. <laughs> well, I guess it, it was had a web message. It wouldn't have that on OBS. That wouldn't make any sense. Yeah. You're right. Oh, so now, now that Nintendo guy is sticking his tongue out at me. <laughs> I can feel That's that all the way bad. from Wisconsin. I can't see on computer, but on phone could be Midwest thing. I, I assume everything is. I, can't. Oh. <laughs> I assume. That's funny, Jasmine. Sorry. We're from the Midwest, in case people don't know. Originally. We are from the Midwest. So we can say that. The Middle West. It's the opposite of the Middle East, the I, I guess. I don't know. 
everything is fine for what I yeah Brian it was it was me I, I it was me being weird Brian not Brian hey Brian do I know you hey Luke it Luke. was it was frozen for a moment yeah Luke's here oh nephew Luke hey Luke yeah oh I knew Lexi was here I didn't know Luke was here too hey oh, I think they're secretly the same guys. person so. Oh yeah, yeah. Why, why would I say that? Hey Luke, if you win a prize, um, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> he can win a prize. Actually, he can have prizes all he wants. He never asks though. That's okay. He's a sweetie. I'm not a cheesehead, but from Michigan. What's a cheesehead specifically mean? I think it's somebody who likes their sports team, isn't it? Oh, Michigan, whatever. Wisconsin, Michigan. It's like, ah, Florida, Georgia, Mississippi. What's the difference? Cuba. Florida's probably the most like Louisiana out of those, of the other southern states. Oh, that's right. In the middle. It's like Louisiana with like Hawaii, kind of. That's yeah. <laughs> But very flat. Gotta go for now. Have a great rest of your... Bye, Heather. Bye, Heather. Thank you for saying I'll be my death. I'm actually getting paint some little scales on him, which don't show up in the pen, but... Luke says he's good. Special. Oh, good. Define good, Luke. <laughs> Define evil, Luke. Aunt Jasmine. Hey. I can't believe he typed that. Aw. Heather says she's excited. Yay. Oh, okay, so that, he's not a Brian, I know. Oh, okay. oh don't be sorry, you know, my we'll, gosh. Yeah, we'll, we'll learn you. <laughs> we know you now. Oh, people are liking the alligator girl ACO. Yeah. Oh, I saw you love Gabriel's KC football. You know, I told you about that, didn't I? How they got the... Uh, I'm not... Are you talking to me or are you talking to I'm the I'm telling you, Jasmine. Okay. Gabriel, um, I th it was Ka Katie, I think, sent Gabriel a chief shirt with uh, Patrick whatever is Mahomes. Okay. Oh, uh -huh. and they and they're gonna show it. they were, he was gonna show up and like be at our booth and have a Kansas City oh my Chief gosh. shirt, and I'll be like, oh my god, that would have been. They hilarious. did it to mess with me. I think I don't see that very often. But now he there. loves that shirt. It's like his favorite Aww. shirt. <laughs> I always think it's funny when I I see like our local sports teams and things when we're in other continents. You know. Yeah. I mean, I guess you see that sometimes of soccer and stuff. Here, well, the but... Chiefs won a Super Bowl a while back. That's so true. That, that's... It's hard for me to gauge yeah. how famous a team is. And the Royals, like not from there. the Kansas City Royals won a, they a won few, the years, ago, a few years ago World Series. World, Series. World Cup. <laughs> My gosh, Jasmine. Go sports. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the, what's the prize called in, in eSports stuff? They have all sorts of different prizes names. Oh, like tournament names? Well, like the e the something cup. Like if it's, it's the the name of the oh, event. It changes from game to game. It changes oh. from game to game. Yeah. yeah, and esports is is a big thing here on Twitch. Yeah, I don't I don't know anything about it, but Brenda does. Yeah. He's even got um. What team do you follow? Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. I heard they're the best. They're the best. They're my favorite. They're my favorite too. Yeah, that's basically what I nine. tell people. It's like when they have a a sports a shirt, shirt on or something. It's like, it's who do you like? I'm like, that one. <laughs> that one on gets, your shirt. It there. gets you out of trouble in England sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the American accent gets me out of trouble in England. Yeah, they are not going to mess with me because they, they know that care. I'm. I'll probably be utterly ignorant of uh, English football. Yeah. But I'd still like to go to a game. I just need to find some blokes to go with. That's when dudes become blokes well, <laughs> when, you, when you're in London. Yeah, bros and blokes. Yeah, there are no bros there. No, they're blokes and lads. Blokes and lads. So, Jasmine, what do, what do you... Jasmine's like, what are you doing? Are you off with the lads? <laughs> yeah, I was having a few pints down at the pub. We're going to go watch the foot footy later. <laughs> yeah. You've so said that to me before. It just... It reeks of the IT crowd episode where they're... Oh, 
I love to, that. I love yeah. that. <laughs> there. We're real men, proper men. I just arrived. Have you attended an Orlando City match? Orlando City what? Yeah. I, I don't know. Is that a team? What do you think they mean? It's called the Orlando City? What? Sorry. Soccer. No, I have or not. I have not tainted what Eagle. What is our soccer team called? Uh, what's the team name? Yeah. Magic? There's the mad. That's not. That's basketball, Jasmine. Yeah, so, solar bears. Soccer, but what's the team called? <laughs> solar bears is hockey, right? I'll go. I'll go. Bears. I, I'm down. Like oh, bears, hey, tainted. Solar oh, okay. What is it? Bianca's the uh, Bianca uh, Tim, uh, Bianca's husband. Oh, was he here? Yeah, he's tainted Dingle. Oh, he's asking if I've been a, a, a soccer match. Um, no, Orlando I, City Soccer uh -uh. Club. Oh. No, I, no, I don't know it. Uh -uh. The O C C S C, Tainted Eagle is Bianca's husband Tim. Yeah, I got it, Ricky. Yay! Figured it out. Hey Tim. Cause he told me. I mean, my mom That's could be in here and I wouldn't know it. She could be messing <laughs> with yeah, me. Yeah, I know. I always wonder about that. Who's here? <laughs> That's the team's name. That's so creative. What is it? The Orlando City Soccer Club. No muss, no fuss. I. It's like, it. what team are you? I'm. I'm the uh, I'm the Jacksonville the soccer team. Yeah. It's like, well, what's the name of your team? The Jacksonville oh, soccer, soccer team. team. I was like, gosh, that takes all the you know the, the brain work well, out. Kind of works with I can just concentrate on the game now yeah. and not the mascot. Well, England's like that. Their mascot oh, is a lion. That soccer, okay, you just it? blew my mind, Wes. <laughs> Their mascot is a lion, though. That's but, that's but they're not the lions. For the Royals too, isn't it? See, I, this isn't for, I'm, I'm a head scratching person that constantly talks and tries mm -hmm. to figure out things around me. That sort of thing just confuses me. Orlando Solar Bears. That, yeah, I, I have no idea what a solar bear is. It's supposed to be like polar bears, but it's Orlando and sunny Florida, so wow. it's solar bears. It, this is wasted. You know, the creativity is wasted on because me. Because it's cold because they're playing hockey. The matches are way fun, Bianca. Hey, maybe I'll go with you sometime. It was a three-headed lion before. Now it's, it's just three got one head. Three-headed lion? Three -headed lion. This is twisted. <laughs> it was a manticore before. Oh, wow. Wow. And then two of its heads have been cut off. That's amazing. Huh. I remember when I played hockey, we were the green team because we wore green jerseys. That's pretty easy. Oh. Shirts and skins is easy. <laughs> that and I could see you wearing hockey stuff. <laughs> That's cool. I've what do you call three-headed lion? I don't know. What do you call a three-headed lion? I don't Is that know. a joke? It seems like something <laughs> Heather would know. Uh, she's gone. I she know. left the room. She's left. Yeah, but Great. she knows the names of all the So we scared Heather away, animals. and now we don't know what a three-headed lion is. No. I, th I don't... TN uses solar bear. Oh! What? From Dragon Ball Z? Tien, you, is that a Dragon Ball Z move? Manticore is one head and has a scorpion tail. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Demon of Sin. I've said Manticore well before uh, the yes, three, I, three I know, headed thing. I correcting you. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> corrections corner. It's Grogaman the Many Colored Death. Oh, yeah, of course. From the book Never Ending Story. Of course. That's our mascot for our. Grogaman the Many Colored Death. Team. <laughs> Women's team is the pride. Their logo is the fountain at. Ikeola. Lake Eola? Oh, Lake Eola. Yeah. Oh. You know the fountain? <laughs> I was like, is that Ikea? Lake is that I what? Ikea or what? Okay. Uh -huh. Ikea Lola. I don't know who picked the fountain. It was not my first choice. I. You know, it's not the hmm. first thing I think of when I think of Orlando. In fact, I've never even been to that fountain when I was here. So. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, you. He uses solar flare play on words. Okay. So it's like solar flare and solar, solar flare, bears and polar, polar bear, bears. Solar bear. Solar bears. Gotcha. There's sun bears. I think thing, the three-headed lion is a Cerberus. A, yeah. Well, a, a three-headed dog is. I guess maybe yeah. a three-headed lion. Maybe a Cerberus could be a three-headed hedgehog. Also. Maybe it could be a three-headed three chow human. dog with a chow cut. Lion cut. Lion cut? Yeah. yeah. 
Sure, we'll go with that. Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> Demon of Sin. Yeah, what's up? Oh, oh um, this is this three minutes. Oh, oh wait, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it now. You can choose the name because then you do the spinning wheel after that. Yeah, I okay, didn't so choose a gonna, name. We're gonna choose. We're gonna see who wins, and then okay. we'll do the spinning wheel. We, to see what we choose win. winner first. Oh. I have to close entries. So I'm killing that. Pick winner. The winner is Starwind BC. Starwind BC. I wonder if they're in British Columbia. Okay, let's see what you win. Uh, moment. It's on here. Okay. <laughs> original <laughs> painting. Original <laughs> painting. No. I, original painting is it? No, I, I don't see oh. it. What is it? <laughs> it's going to take a second for oh. it to pop up for me. I don't even know what all the options are for prizes. It's got a bench, though, eh? I have a three-headed chihuahua. That could be a Cerberus. All the sports talk confused me. I still don't yeah, see... I, I must be lagged big time, because, or not lagged like just behind playing. big time, because I don't even see the prize wheel yet. Oh, here it is. Did it go? Okay. It's now... It's coming. What is it? And they won a 16 by 20 canvas. Wow! All right. Nice. So, so I will. So if this is a little different. Um, yes. I need to. So send me an email and then I'll talk to you, and we'll talk about which sixteen you'll, by twenty you'll you want. You'll get to pick your sixteen by yeah. twenty canvas. You can pick from most. So there, yeah, there's a lot to edition, choose from. But yeah. And that's if it has like, to be an eighteen by twenty four, I'll, I'll send yeah. you one of those. But that is so cool. That is. That is. They. That is a good for, prize. They retail for one ninety five. One ninety five. So you just won. You just won like a big old wacky prize. Yeah. And you can. Pick from many, many, many. And Matt will be in contact with you about that. So Well, you contact me. Well, you have to contact him so he yeah, knows that's, how to contact Yeah, that's the you, deal we have going here. If you don't contact me. If you don't contact us, we don't know who you are. Because you could be some Brian we don't know. You know. This isn't Brian. It's Starwind. I was joking because okay. you were making it's a callback. Okay. See, that it's, it's a Yay. callback a few weeks ago. Shut up. Yeah, exactly. All right, so... Is 16 by 20 canvas print. Huh? Yay! Okay. Yay. And that is uh, the broadcast. And Starwind, oh, so I hope okay. you're in the room. Okay. Did Starwind see that at all? Starwind BC. Starwind BC, Sound you cool. won. And BC. just get back to me. I think yeah. I know who you are, but I can <laughs> sometimes they're like similar names and I don't want to confuse anyone. No. Okay. Well, awesome, guys. This was a... Uh, so, this was awesome. Thank you all. Yes. We will be back on Sunday. So yep. Sunday at... Um, three. Three o'clock. Three, three o'clock Eastern time. On the coast. Pacific. The coast. The coast. East coast. coast. Honey. You got to say East Coast. Down, 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 down. England is 20 o'clock slash 8 p.m. Something. <laughs> Something. Um, if you follow me up here at Twitch, you'll get reminders when I'm starting. And also... Um, going to say something else. Yeah. No. Uh, well, I guess see you Sunday. Yay. Okay. Catch you later. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.